Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Touching Tips, a podcast dedicated to the world of PSVR 2. My name is Karen Alive and Well, and I'll be introducing your hosts. From the west of Ireland, he is a visionary, a leader, a sensual and generous lover, as I can attest. Petrifying Pumpkins. Pumpkins was once a successful businessman before a tragic incident left him with stage 2 ligma of the mind. No longer able to run his multinational POG corporation, Pumpkins turned to his other passion, PSVR. Hence this channel and later podcast were born. Pumpkins is famous all over the world thanks to the various Easter eggs dedicated to him in PSVR exclusive Firewall Zero Hour. Most famously, if you go to the hangar map in the air control tower, you will see radar screens with various aircraft designations that, when combined, spell out petrifying pumpkins. It really does make him better than you. From Mexico, he has many names. El Chupacabra, El Fuego, El Pasión. But around here we call him Mr. 777 or Jackpot. Mr. 777 moved to the United States as a wee lad. A former Xbox fan, Jackpot gave up on Team Green when he discovered the future is virtual reality and has been on PlayStation since. Jackpot lives with his mother in her basement. She reached out to Pumpkins, begging him to let Jackpot be a co-host as she worries about his lack of social communication skills as you will soon see for yourselves. He turned to marijuana at a young age and has reached a stage where if he were to ever stop smoking, the shock to his system would kill him immediately. Jackpot has a heavily stained pillow that he calls Amanda. He believes that she is real and that he is in a long-term relationship with her. His catchphrase is, bitch. And finally, all the way from the frigid wastes of Canada, comes Muzz. Muzz has a passion for maple syrup and discussing PSVR too. He once got lost in the frozen tundra of northern Canada with his best friend. The ordeal was harrowing and led to Muzz eating the remains of his friend in order to survive. Shortly after, Muzz turned to VR gaming as a way to escape the horrors of the reality he leaves every time he puts on the headset. It's worth noting that while Muzz maintains his best friend was dead before he began to consume him, later studies of the remains hinted at the possibility that the friend died from infections that were caused from bites, though due to a handling error, the evidence was deemed inadmissible and Muzz walked free. He also has a cat. Without further ado, let the show begin. I've been Karen Alive and Well and I will now hand you over to the strong, sexy hands of pumpkins. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and all that usual YouTube shite. No. And, okay, we are live. This is the first ever recorded Touch and Tips, because my PC is having the issues, so we said this would be the safest way to do it. So this is episode 91, even though the last time we tried it was episode 91 as well, but I deleted that because it crashed after the first topic. And this is going to be attempt number two. Uh, I'm joined by Muzz to my... Well, actually, I'm not going to say left or right because maybe I'm going to edit it different. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, Ooh. Muzz is here and Jackpot's here. I'll be down I'll be down at the very bottom of the screen somewhere. I'm just going to stack the three of us on top of each other. I'm going to fuck my face. And <laughs> not going to fuck your face. Don't be so paranoid. Why are you so paranoid? It's crazy. Next I'm going to make my lips look bitch. normal and you're going to have red lips. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> Your lips are like super swollen too. Yeah, look, that's just because I'm yeah. fucking. This is attractive qualities to have. Like this is what the opposite sex looks for and gets aroused by. Uh, yeah, I guess I so. Hear one of my guys favorites. with lipstick. Yeah, yeah it's 2024. Yeah, it's, hot. Thing. it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> that's what they like. Uh, anyway, Muzz, Jackpot, how have you been since the last time we spoke? Not Fine. bad. Not too much going on. Been. I've been playing in a little bit of Sea of Thieves. Damn. Ooh. On PlayStation? Even though... Like a eh. PC? I just... Uh, all I'm thinking is how awesome that game would be in VR if it was ever possible, but... Not bloody likely. No. Yeah. <laughs> Not time, so. But that, that'd that be like a grade A kind of VR experience, though. Like the waves and just sailing around. Is there VR, not a but... mod for that in PC? For virtual reality, you know? Maybe. I don't know. 
think they're probably not multiplayer. They probably ban you. I think oh, a yeah, lot of the games that are game. multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. They know. That wouldn't work. That's shit. Is Jack, but what have you been up to? Uh, nothing. Oh, I've been playing Diablo for some reason. Oh yeah, Diablo <laughs> for Diablo some Five. Jack, Deception Diablo Five. Saying you're gonna, uh, you're gonna flazzy. No, just for a little bit. Well, LSB is gone, not playing with us for a while. At least he hasn't been playing with us for a while. So, you know, Contract is a three player game. Mm-hmm. Septagon doesn't want to play with a random, and I don't blame him because fucking squeaks. Uh, so, yeah, I've just been playing Diablo by myself. I play a little bit of the flight simulator. I was going to try it in VR, but I don't think my computer will handle it. Maybe in really low settings. That's a new one. Um, yeah, you know, Dan's going to be gonna screaming this. right now, saying, like, I'll play, I'll play, I'll play with anybody. Oh, yeah. He's going to oh, be yeah. telling us that the new, he's, he saw a new name on the player list the last day, and he's very excited. He got really excited. Really excited. He's always on. And Amanda's like, damn, Dan is on again. Dan is on. Yeah, he just knows pops everyone. notification on the phone. He knows everyone on us. It's, he's doing the same thing he did to Firewall Ultra, where he, like, memorized every single player. So he knows when a new person is there. <laughs> I told you it was good, and he was like, he couldn't let go of Firewall. Now this is this is a new addiction, yeah. and he'll stay with it. He'll stay with this one also to the very end. Yeah, he's cursed. He's killing these games. He needs to stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been. Bit, so you haven't played any Rior games either, of you really? Have, well, a bit of Phasma, whatever we've been streaming. But outside of that, not really. I always jump in Gran Turismo once in a while. I like. I just like. Doing a couple of races every now and then. Actually, I was gonna jump on Madison. There was an update. Game, yeah, there was an update. Yeah, I didn't try the new car. GT7 update as a topic at the very end there. No, uh, oh but God. this is the good thing about the. Uh, it's not live. We can just look it up on the fly and talk about it if we need to. You know. Uh, yeah. Another five cars just came out. It's already out. I think so. I think oh, so. I that was coming. That's that doesn't include the pro patch, does it? Because I heard that. That was good. No, like, it was supposed so. to be day one. Got, got I didn't hear one. anything about a pro patch. Yeah, if that's true, I don't. I must have missed that if they announced that there was going to be a pro patch. Well, they were showing it off with like eight. Oh, for a flat. Stuff like uh, yeah, that. I heard, I knew about the flat screen. Yeah, but uh, that's, pro patch, but they haven't said anything about the VR well, too. Said nothing about that, but like the stuff that they promised for flat isn't ready as either. So hopefully there yeah. will be VR stuff with that. All right. The first topic then is the Game Awards Game of the Year nominees for yeah, virtue. Controversial. No, we don't care about the rest but why, we're, we're why are people about so VR. upset about this because they've got some I mean, where did i hear it's 118 million viewers or something like that that's how many people tune into this uh so it's like if you want a chance to show off the best viewer this is you know a nice place to showcase them but it's a uh, it, i'm assuming they're not counting everybody's bitching about resident evil i'm assuming it's because resident evil is not a only VR game. That's why they're not yeah, counting. Let me stop why you the right fuck there. are they going to... Let gonna... me stop you right there. Who won right, last year? Who won last year? Resident Evil 8. Resident Evil 8. Yeah. So there you go. So yeah, that goes down the toys. Them. Then, the I'm, then I'm on the same page. Not Nothing against... Uh, what is it? The fucking remake of Arizona Sunshine. But come on. Like, yeah, yeah, I haven't no even played Resident there. Evil. And I know that's probably the game of the year. Or at least one of the best Jesus. games. Well, listen up. So, let me list the games that are there. So they've got Asgard's Wrath 2 which came out in December 2023, which is the same time Resident Evil 4 came out. They've got Arizona Sunshine Remake, uh, Batman, Arkham Shadow, Metro Awakening, and Metal Hellsinger VR. So I think it's Arizona Sunshine and Metal Hellsinger need to be swapped for Resident Evil 4 and Madison VR, in my opinion. Really? Listen, I'm more I'm more willing to give up Madison VR because that's more to be more of a personal thing, but Resident Evil 4 has to be there. Resident Evil 4 yeah. should be, yeah. That's like ridiculous yeah. to not have that. Thing. Especially when Resident Evil 8 won it last year. How do yeah. you have misses from nomination this yeah. year? It's, uh, in my opinion, well, it's outrageous. They they had Gran Turismo 7. Well, was Gran Turismo 7 on uh, yeah, one of the was, nominations? Was yeah. for, for VR? Yeah. yeah, okay. So if they, yeah, if they chose Gran Turismo 7 as a potential, then there's no reason, yeah. So I mean, Who fucking makes this picks? Already. I don't know. It's not a vote. Right? It's, it's, player's not so a this vote. is what I'm thinking. It's you know, they go to all these different like IGNs and all these, and they all have to submit their nominations, and then they like whoever's got the most nominations makes it. But what I think happens is these fuckers don't play the your games. They Google they the don't. 2024, and then they that's look at the I, list that pops why. up, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I've heard of Arizona Sunshine. I'll submit yeah. that." You know. 
Uh, yeah. And then they never, don't... never go to, never, never go to the big uh, outlets like IGN and or any of those kind of guys for VR anything because they yeah. they don't know shit about VR. And if they start pretending that they do, it's obvious. And like, I'm waiting for the day that it, it does start getting popular and like starts picking up steam and starts getting some like big hits and it starts selling well then all of a sudden IGN will like oh we're gonna have a VR podcast now we're gonna start yeah, talking about yeah. VR yeah it's just like but yeah even when they go, go, that, go, go, screw, go screw yourselves like where were you guys when uh, it was starting out and we needed some a good push for but, VR but I feel like even when they do that they're gonna get people who've never fucking played VR for maybe two months and they're like oh you wanna be in this fucking show you know because they yeah. did the like they've done reviews for VR and they're fucking trash. I remember like one yeah. of the first reviews they did IGN was uh was a Borderlands 2 or whatever it was mm-hmm. and they were complaining about cuz oh this fucking turning is click turning. I was like motherfucker go to the menu and put smooth turning. Like <laughs> yeah. you literally never play a VR game before and you're or, or any video VR. game. And video games have settings. Like any video yeah. game has settings. Just look at the damn yeah, settings. Awesome. But they don't. Yeah, but I think most of the time when they talk about VR stuff, they get outsiders that come in and like do like a VR piece for them because I don't think anybody actually there. I think so. Yeah, I think they used to get like David Jagno. Remember him? He used to like he was like on Upload VR. He was one of the risers over there. Probably. Yeah. He joined First Contact for a while. Uh, But yeah, they used to get outsiders like you're saying. Uh, But yeah. And uh, what gets me too is like you you listen to like their PlayStation uh, podcast thing. And they talk about the pro for however long the show is. Not once does VR even get mentioned. They're like, oh, what's what's uh, the pro gonna do for the VR too? They not even not even a conversation piece. Just, yeah, I'm, just not, all, you know, I'm not gonna blame but, them for that because Sony won't even talk about that. So if Sony, are no, but talk they, about it, they could have at least they could have at least you know said like, I wonder where the pro, uh, the well, pro yeah. is gonna help. Yeah, you know, bring it up in a conversation, saying like, I wonder why they're not talking about the PlayStation VR two with the pro updates. You yeah. know, like. But according, they to don't them, according to them, it's like dead. It's already dead, you know? Oh, well, yeah. It's silly, like most saying Never. that they don't... I, I understand okay, that yeah. VR is... It's fucking trash for... Compared to the most people, they don't... They're like, oh, it's stupid. Or it's, I don't want to wear a helmet. Or whatever it is, and I get it. I feel like the majority of people are going to still be like that for a while. But if you have a fucking headset out and you have a small, let's say, community of people who are fucking invested in your product, at least spend fucking five minutes out of the whole thing talking a little bit about it. Like most says, it's yeah. like literally... Nothing, nothing. nothing. And, they, and these are all the publications that the games, the game awards, uh, like all the nominations go to and they vote for them. Like at, IGN's one of them and there's like a list of all the big, all the There's the like a hundred of them, I think. It's not just the big ones. It's like Push Square and stuff like that too. And they do cover yeah. the other games in fairness to them. There, there's, there's some that are decent, I guess, that are picking the winners. But I mean, most of them probably haven't played the games. Exactly. Or, <laughs> Well, like I'm, with, with the with the sure. list of games in there, I do assume probably what like Batman. I think is probably gonna be the one. Yeah, I think that wins. I think Batman. Yeah, I expected Batman to be there. It was like the obvious choice. I think but, it's pretty. But the, like, pretty like, certain Batman's who, gonna win. Like who was talking about Metal Hell Singer really? Like that game came out. Nobody ever talked about it. Really, not that I heard. I didn't play it, so and I don't know much about it. It's a game. It's better than Resident Evil Four. You know, apparently it's better than Madison somehow. Arizona Sunshine Remake, it's the same game as it was back in 2016, but like a fresh course of paint. They didn't really add yeah. much to it. Like, no disrespect to that, like yeah. Jackpot was saying. It's still a good game because it was always a good game, but hmm. you know, it doesn't deserve to be here, I don't think. You know, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but like, it's, I think it's disrespectful and rude to the fucking people at Capcom who fucking put the effort into turning. And it's not just. It's more impressive than Village, in my opinion, because Resident Evil 4 was a third person game and they managed to make that a VR game. Whereas Village yeah. just had kind of built with VR in mind from the beginning. You know, as first person, it was easier. Uh, but yeah, it uh, makes me sick. It makes me sick. And it's like, not that you should ever take the game awards seriously anyway, but it's really hard to take it seriously now. You know? So what would you, what would you prefer? <laughs> Resident Evil 4 not being nominated and Batman wins? Or Resident Evil 4 being there and Batman beats Resident Evil 4? Yeah, I'm because fine. Batman... Batman's gonna win regardless. I think it's just I, yeah, the fine. newest, the newest big craze that everybody's kind of like talking about. So, like, I agree with both you, you and Jack, but I think Batman is gonna win. Uh, yeah, but one hundred percent. Resident Evil Four definitely deserves. An yeah, it should be on the list. Camp. I'd be happy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna be upset if Batman beats because I haven't even played Batman, and from what I've heard from everyone, yeah. Batman is like a good game, like a really good game. Yeah. So I, I'm not gonna be upset about that if it wins. Uh, but it just doesn't seem fair. 
you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you want to showcase the best of the best, and Resident Evil, Resident Evil Four not being on the list is just yeah, doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So, I mean, it's got people making accusations of Meta, maybe throwing them a bit of cash. And last year was the opposite because it was like four PSVR two exclusives, and everyone was like, "Oh, Sony's bought these," and then this year it's like Meta has bought it this year uh, because Asgard's Wrath two is there. Yeah. And why is that there and not Resident Evil 4? You know, it's just, yeah. it just doesn't make sense. Anyway, that's the first topic. I don't know. Which is the Game Awards. I, I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not really looking towards Jeff Keighley's Game Awards to show, showcase VR. I'm looking at like the YouTubers that talk about yeah. VR all the time. That's the guys I would listen to in like a Game of the Year announcement. Like, like you. And game of game awards i mean i i know it's a big show that a lot of people watch but i mean it's worth it's sad that sorry it's no. it, like it's it's sad that most people are gonna get a little bit of a, a, uh their vr uh showcase sure. like at just at that and like yeah. they don't really know about other places that they could go to like see way more about vr and stuff so what makes this easier to swallow as well is that no matter who wins it's just gonna be like in between trailers and advertisements, oh, yeah. stuff is going to be like, oh, by the way, the winner of the VR category yeah. is Batman. And then clap, clap, clap. And nobody's coming up to make a speech or anything like that. So it'll just be... No. And now the mobile game of the well, year is fucking Candy Crush, you it, know, or whatever. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if they would actually have someone from uh, Rocksteady actually... I don't, think, uh, I don't think they've ever let, like, the VR winner go A stage. VR winner go to talk about anything, yeah, because yeah, Rocksteady's... Be wrong, but, like, Half-Life Alex won 2020, so maybe they had someone hmm. talking? I don't know, because he is close I can't to remember. Valve. I can't remember either. Uh, but, yeah, I should look into that. But, uh, yeah, it will it will be, like, just, like, one of those, like, and here's, like, a whole bunch of winners that... You know, and now, okay, let's get on to the big show. <laughs> What's crazy to me, though, is that uh, Jackpot is a Quest fanboy, and he hasn't even played Batman yet. What's going on with you? I have it. I have it installed. I've been doing other shit. I've been doing other shit. You're playing Diablo. Why are you playing Diablo and not Batman? Because <laughs> Diablo's good shit. Is it good? Yeah. I heard it was bad. Yeah. No, it's good. I think it got like a bunch of updates that made it better. Okay. But okay. I haven't That's played it for a while either. So are we ready PS5 to move on Pro? to the next topic? Do it. And by the way, we will talk about PS5 Pro later on. So that stuff you were saying mm. earlier on about, you know. IGN not mentioning the benefits of PS Year 2. We'll get back to that. Uh, but the next thing I want to talk about is the Sony PS Year 2 spotlight that they did. They did the blog post where they vomited out five PS Year 2 announcements. They seem to do this every few months on the blog where they give you little updates about either new games or games that you already knew about, but like, you know, give you a release date for them or whatever. Uh, so the most significant one, I think, the first one we should start with is Hitman World of Assassination, which was supposed to be coming in December, has been pushed to March. And, mm. you know, I should probably have the blog open here so I can read exactly what they said. But basically, they want to give it more time, more polish, and they're talking about how, you know, they're doing proper viewer interaction in this game. So if you want to perform certain actions in the game, you have to mimic them. In real life or something they used examples of like you know typing on a keyboard to hack a computer and shit like that so this is what's taken time apparently uh, hmm. but i'm kind of okay with this you know i'm not i'm obviously i'm disappointed because this is probably my most anticipated game for 2024 but it's nice to have something to look forward to next year because i didn't really have much to look forward to until now any thoughts on this now with playstation with playstation yeah nothing to what are you looking forward to in quest on 2025 uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. It's gonna stealth drop this December. It's gonna stealth drop yeah. any day now. Didn't they cancel that? Uh, probably. Uh, probably. Yeah, they, they haven't they talked about it, but it's probably done. I could have sworn they canceled that, but maybe it's in my imagination. But they did mm -hmm. have, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition. They put out a patch for that, like, in a few, like last week, that fixed loads of issues. So maybe they were waiting for the yeah. fixes there to the quest version else i don't know no uh but yeah any thoughts on the hitman delay anything you want to add to that no that wasn't like on the top of my list but i mean it, it i'm gonna i'm gonna play it it looks like I'll it's play like too. it's it's really good value obviously and you're gonna have a lot of gameplay and replay mm -hmm. value because you can do things so differently and stuff so yeah. you can try things out 
And if you already own us, it's just like a ten dollar upgrade. Yep. Which is always appreciated. That's uh, if you own it from PSVR, like the first if version. You own no, the flat version. Flat right? version. I think, flat yeah. version. Just okay. Of Hitman Three. Yeah. So if you if you own the PSVR version of Hitman, that doesn't translate to like an upgrade. I don't know. I remember the like the huh, original that's Hitman weird. having a super complicated because there's like a gold edition and you could buy mm. all the episodes separately. It was very complicated and messy, mm. so I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, the second thing worth talking well, they're all worth talking about, but the second thing I think is, uh, in terms of importance, Alien Covenant has gone gold, and they also gave us a new trailer to go with it. I don't know if you've watched that trailer. I did. Yeah. No spoilers, no, I haven't. You haven't? Okay. Uh, so, Muz, what do you think about the footage? It doesn't spoil anything. <laughs> You're basically just seeing hallways and some aliens, but... Like, it shows off the Android, it's, like, it's a little bit more story focused i think like it shows how you get on the planets yeah in the first place. a little a little bit yeah um more excited about hitman than alien i no, 100 percent. i'm like i was looking at the trailer i was looking like the animations there's a part where like the alien picks up your android friend and it just looks really stiff and it's like oh, yeah this is quest fucking you know i'm not trying like to the... quest every time but i have to because i'm forced to you know <laughs> the character models yeah do look rough like uh like when <laughs> when she Sorry, Jack. Thought a quick little spoiler. When she turns in the ship and you see the, uh, is he an android? The guy that like I think the he is, bald yeah, guy. He is. So yeah, when she looks at him, like right away, my first thought was like, that's that looks like an unfinished, an unfinished character model. Like it doesn't look like he's like <laughs> done. Like it looks, he's like he's white and like there's like no him, though, like because he is an android. They're like showing off. He's like robotic looking. Yeah, I don't know but where I mean, this just... takes place in the timeline. Maybe he's like an earlier model or something. But, uh, it, it, he just didn't have any like no no uh features, i don't know like, just yeah no features in his yeah, yeah details no details anywhere like even their clothes look very like but, the whole time, but i mean sorry yeah i mean the character models whatever i mean you're going to be in first person anyway so you're not going to see yourself so who cares what the character model looks like yeah. but i mean when there is interactions and there's like story elements it might be a little uh a little sad looking maybe yeah, in terms of the just, quality of the characters this, I, I get this with uh, Metro as well I know a lot of people praising Metro etc etc and it is a nice game and I'm enjoying it so I'm like halfway through it's maybe a little bit more but mm. I do like there is lots of times where I'm like okay yeah this has to run on a quest and that's why this looks like this you know it's not I, oh people, well if you put that side by side with like a, a four year old game Half-Life Alex, and look at those character models oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and put it next to Metro, Metro it's like yeah. How how have we not like progressed from Me uh, from Half Life Alex at this point, and they're still outshining like character models and current this games? It's ridiculous. This is what the quest is done, and I don't blame the quest. Yeah. It's not the quest's fault. Yeah, it's successful. You know, we're a victim of the quest. Well, and success. I feel like, like I mean, you said PC VR is dead because there's nobody that is going to want to make a PC VR only game 100%. because you're isolating yourself from the majority of the market, which is the questicle. So. Yeah. Yeah, it does suck, and I wish that VR was more popular. Just no shit. Just so we can get better games that you know, because right now there's no money to be made like Half Life, right? Just another VR game. But the capabilities now with the fucking machines, uh, like you say, if Half Life was so many years ago, uh, I just want. I wish we had more of those games, but I feel it's gonna be a while because it's it's just such a niche deal, and some people, a lot of people, are still like, even though you show them a nice game, they're like, yeah, fuck VR. You know, so it's yeah, just, this is hard. You're right. But that, this is why, you know, at the beginning of this generation, it was like, okay, we're going to, hybrid games are going to be the way forward, you know, and then they just never happened. But there's uh, progress. Look before, before when the Questicle yeah. wasn't as popular, you know, it was like, we were like, oh, fuck. Now it's like VR is getting a lot more popular than it was before. Still not mainstream, but like I say, fucking people in Christmas, they get Quest. Like, that's the thing now, you know? Well, a game like Batman will move the needle a little bit for sure. There's going to be some people that are the big, like the biggest Batman fans fans out there will yeah. consider buying a Quest to play a Batman Arkham VR game. I have a feeling so, like the Quest Three isn't moving as much as the Quest Two did, though. Like it's not doing. No, it's very a lot more expensive. But it even is, the Quest Three well, S, like it's not like a lot of people like it's not being talked about the same way, even though it's kind of supposed to be the replacement, if you know what I mean. The cheaper we'll version. see how their numbers get boosted over the holidays like yeah, maybe, after, yeah, maybe uh, after christmas maybe a lot of people well, will get the quest to play well, batman and other games I'm talking now. too soon i'm talking too soon for sure 
when it was also like the new thing like oh vr oh shit hey vr the quest 2 is cheaper let's just get into vr i feel like a lot of the the, the newer people that were going to get into vr they kind of got like the big chunk of it we still get a lot of new people but i feel like that was a craze like oh fuck there's this new thing called vr the quest let's just go buy one right i feel like that's why there was a lot more sales than now but like mo says we'll see christmas because the quest 3s is pretty much the same price i think it's 300 bucks so that might but I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's not as popular. I think, like. like the reason I would like I, I'm worried as a PSVR two fan that the Quest three is not doing as good as the Quest two is because, because all the rest of us are being held back by the Quest, so we need the Quest to sell well so that there can be a Quest four that's more powerful and then a Quest five that's more powerful and then finally like we're on a level playing field and we're getting the games that look like we want them to look, you know, and play not yeah. just looks obviously, but you know, mm. bigger in scope and scale and you know. But the problem games. is. The problem is, like, if you're re- re- if you're relying on the Quest to be like the the be all end all headset for VR, every iteration of the Quest is always going to be behind the next evolution of graphics cards and PlayStation mm-hmm. Six and like <laughs> you know what I mean. Like the well, hardware is always going to advance. At, at, at that point, AI might step in and and the AI Maybe. might be able no. to. Yeah. Medicate someone because the AI is fucking crazy right now. Unless they can make a headset that's like streaming, like if they have like a, he- a VR headset that's not running on like its own power and they just stream the games right to the headset, uh, then maybe it can handle like the bigger, better looking games. But the thing about Some the cloud quest- service, then yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, the thing about the quest is at least like by the time the PS VR 2 is dead. Like the Quest Four could be out because they put them out pretty fast. Like there's a new Quest every two years, eighteen months, something like that. I don't yeah. Know. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll like see. it will catch up a bit faster, but you know, remains to be seen. Anyway, that was a big tangent. We were supposed to be talking about Alien, Rogue, and Curse. <laughs> well, well <laughs> I, I actually I want to play Alien, but the, here's the another big the big issue with VR is like you can't. VR is like such a hard thing to advertise. Like it is like it's like you you can't show it off in how good it is. All people will say is those look like PS3 graphics. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, well, it's not <laughs> you're seeing it outside of the headset. Like I would play I would play it uh, the best or uh, I would play a, a VR game that has really good PS3 graphics over like the best PS5 looking game because I would rather be inside the game. And it looks so much better anyway when you're in the game. But those people even and, fucking complain. Play Mario, and Mario's not the best fucking looking yeah. game. So I don't know why they complain about the graphics when they play Nintendo games, you know? Yeah, but if you look at the comment section, I was scrolling through when I saw the the trailer, and there's so many people that are just like, "Those are look so bad. Like, the, why <laughs> is the graphics not finished? It looks like PS3 game." Just like lots of those kind of comments, and just like, yeah. you can't. That's like you can't you can't show it as a flat screen trailer, but you can't show it as a VR because you're not in VR. So you're just like you're stuck. You're just like trust us. It looks really good in VR. That's all you can say. And then people are like, yeah, yeah. Well, but it's it's just it's never it's never an easy thing to advertise, and then it's just not feasible for them. You look at Gran Turismo Seven. You yeah, know, and then you compare it to like Alien Rogue Incursion, even though yeah. like the VR Gran Turismo Seven, like the trailers they showed for that, or mm-hmm. Horizon Call of the Mountain, those trailers, like you could see, Trash. you know, when the tall neck was going overhead, the water droplets yeah. were coming off. It's like okay, this mm-hmm. is this is like next gen VR. So I well graphically, obviously, like say what you will about Call of the Mountain, at least the character models looked really good. Yeah. Like when you were talking yeah. to Aloy, Aloy looked like she was like right out of the game, yeah. like standing and the in front. Animations of you. were all like. The animations, they reacted to you, they followed you with their eyes, and they kind of, like, reacted to you putting your hand near them. Yeah. So, yeah, they did everything right in that aspect. Just didn't get the gameplay down quite good enough. No, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... I agree, I agree. But, but like, that's why, yeah. like, I understand, like, I know you're going to call me a bitch, but I understand where those comments are coming from when I see Alien Rogue Incursion. And I think to myself, well, I've had these way better experiences years ago. And it's like, ugh, I feel like I'm downgrading, yeah. you know, constantly. Yeah, because uh, it's not made for PlayStation VR 2, you exactly. know, so... But this is just like, you know, I paid fucking 600 euro for this fucking thing. <laughs> Why can't I play games made for PlayStation VR 2? We'll just have to um, wait until they make a Spider-Man VR game, all right? Yeah, we'll yeah. be waiting for a long time. Aces of Thunder might look 
pretty nice. Yeah, it will. It will. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk nice. about that. We'll talk about that soon. I'm really excited for that one. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, the okay look visual looks aside, like what do you think of the alien? Because they showed like glimpses of gameplay. It looks like a lot of action. Do you think? It look yeah. I'm 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 worried about how many aliens there are in the game and how easy they are to kill. Like if if I'm playing the game and I feel like it's like super intense the whole way through and I'm never safe. Then it's a good game, but if I start playing the game, and a little ways into it, I just like don't care about the aliens coming at me anymore. I'm just like shooting them down. Yeah, just like yeah, eh, just blah blah blah, yeah. like kind of just shooting at shooting at you know. You start getting used to the game, and then it starts being easy. So what, and then the aliens what, don't why, feel like a threat. What? Why but did I don't you get from that trailer though. Do you think it's more one way or the other? Uh, I think that. I think that it's still going to be intense because I think what they're doing is making it so you see one alien and you're not really too worried. But as soon as you see like a couple, then they're going to kind of like, you know, uh, divide and conquer kind of thing and come at you from different directions. And then you're going to not be knowing like where they're going to jump at you from or which one to like focus on. That's probably where they're going to get their most. uh, But how much do you think that's going to last? Like how much do you think? Because, okay, let's say, no, no yeah. offense, Phasmo, but a Phasmo, right? First time you get the fingers, ah, scary. But then yeah. it's just like, ah, whatever, right? Yeah. So I wonder how much is this going to be, okay, the fucking things are going to come, and it's going to be intense and tense, and then, like, the third time it's like, ah, fuck, whatever. You know, it's like you get so you know, shit or whatever. That's my next point is one thing to make it so it doesn't get easy or like when they're when they're rushing at you, is they need to, um, and I don't think they do because in the trailer I don't see it, but I don't think there's much acid blood um, yeah, like actually coming out of blood. these guys. And it's always been a thing with Alien games, and it's a pet peeve of mine because not many of them care about the acid blood. Like, mm-hmm. even when you're shooting at them from a distance, like, the acid blood's going to, like, fall on the ground and go through the ground and eventually, like, maybe, like, mm-hmm. cause a, a hole in the ship because the acid blood's, mm-hmm. like, pouring out of them. But I mean, um, if if done right, and the aliens are coming up at you, and you're spraying and praying, if they get too close and you're shooting at them, then you have to worry about not only the alien but the blood splatting on you, and that kills you as well. And that would add oh, more yeah. tension about not letting them get too close to you. You have yeah. to kill them before they get within like ten feet of you, or else they're just gonna kill you with their blood rather than. But it'd, be, yeah, it'd, be, it'd be a nice touch if you at least take some damage from yeah that, you know? but there was one shot in the trailer where it looked like it was pretty close and he was shooting a whole yeah. bunch of rounds in it and i was like pausing it because i saw like <laughs> things coming off of him that look green but i almost think it's like ricochets off of his bullets like the bullets are like ricocheting off the alien like in kind of like flying different directions and i don't yeah. think it's his actual blood that's coming off of him so like he's but like, I, He's got like a hardened armor kind of skin. Maybe. Mean, yeah. Like I couldn't really tell. Like if you watch it, the one clip where it's really close and it's just, he's just shooting the machine gun. Well, At first say, I thought, okay. It does say in that little blurb that they're like the place they've landed is some kind of lab where they were doing tests on them. So they've altered the aliens somehow so that they're tougher or whatever than huh. any other aliens they've encountered before or some shit like that. So maybe they've right. given them armor. It's going to be a seven out of 10. Seven out of ten game. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yeah. Seven out of ten. It's still a good game. I mean, yeah. seven's not. Yeah, horrible. no, I don't think it's gonna be bad, but it's not gonna be. I think like I don't think it's gonna be as good as Batman, even though I haven't played Batman. But based on what I've heard, um, yeah, Batman's supposed to be really good. But I don't think it's yeah. gonna touch I think, Alien Isolation. You know. Well, that's it. Also, Alien Isolation. There, then they announce that they're gonna be doing a VR mode for that. Mm, they've announced they're doing a or, sequel, and the then the person one. who leaked that. Also, oh, that yeah. there's going to be a VR thing, but yeah, because yeah. there's something on the it said, uh, or PSVR 2 compatible or something on like the box or something that they showed or something about that. Oh, you getting mixed up with Resident yeah, Evil 7, maybe? I think I remember. The first, oh, the yeah, box thing. Well, the that's first game is already, uh, so what's, what, what was the PC, leak about? That's a mod, but the leak is the like the leaker said there's going to be a alien isolation sequel coming. And yeah. they're also working on a VR mode for the original, right. like a remaster that's going to have a VR mode. Because apparently the first one, they did intend that to be a VR game, but at the very last minute, they cancelled it. But all hmm. that shit was still in the file, so when it like, released on PC, the like hackers got in there and all they had to do was like turn it on, basically, and it kind of worked. Uh, 
But well, that uh, sounds promising. But it is mm. like the developers said, like if Alien Isolation is like the first Alien movie, then Rogue Incursion is like Aliens. So yeah, Aliens, which isn't bad. I mean, Aliens, they they shoot a lot of Aliens as that as well. Yeah. But I mean, even though they're shooting lots of Aliens, they still have no chance because there's just too many and they're just gonna overpower you. So. Yeah. Uh, still excited for that one. Next then is yeah. the first flat to viewer game. Got a release date. Trombone yep. Champion on flat. Coming out November 26th. Trombone which is just a few shit. days away. Good shit. Pre ordered already. Uh, it's just like. I just kind of wish this wasn't the first game that Flat TV or put out because I don't know if it has like a great chance of being financially successful, you know? It is a weird one to start with, yeah. Maybe it's just because it was um, the smallest one, maybe the easiest I think, one to do. I think it's. I think it's obviously. You know, oh, we want them to be all oh, fucking come up with a bang against some fucking Grand Theft Auto or some shit like that. But it kind of makes sense to me to go start with something small, 15, very, 20 bucks. A game that is going to be very accessible. Not only that, very appealing for people to, eh, let me pick up for the shits and giggles instead of saying, what the fuck is this wave shooter that looks like shit or some weird AI? This seems like a lot easier for people to just, you know, like I said, grab it at that price. So I do think that it will be successful for what they're looking for. Well, I hope so. Because I want all of their games to be successful because... Well, buy a bitch. That's the thing. Like, (laughs) First of all, I'm a a a broke-ass bitch. I can't be buying games I'm never going to Ask for a code. Ask for a code. that's not buying us either. It doesn't matter. (laughs) They're supporting because you're putting it out there. And if you're putting your channel, I guarantee you, at least one person will be like, oh, yeah, that looks fucking hilarious. I'm going to buy it for $15. This could be like a good one to stream. You know, no, it will be fun funny. Stream. I played the flat a little bit, and I was like, right, "I need to stop playing this." When I knew it was coming in view, I just don't know. Like, I don't know if I'd if I'd ever play it two times. You know, I'd be like, "Oh, I'll play this once, be fun, and then I'll never ever touch it again." That's it. And you just to, it's like going to the That's movie theater. Yeah, you know, the movie yeah. theater. You pay fifteen dollar. It depends on how much hours. it's going to be. I don't know if they yeah. put a price out with this. I really should have a tab open. It's like not not less not less than twenty bucks, dude. Are you sure? Or is that just I am a hundred percent sure. On the questicle well, is going price. to be fourteen ninety nine. Uh, so I'm assuming a... PlayStation tax maybe nineteen, but I think it's gonna be fifteen bucks. Just anyway. links to the PlayStation page where you can just wishlist it, so it doesn't have a price yet on the yeah. PlayStation. But Steam is nice. also fourteen fourteen ninety nine, I think. It's gonna be like between fifteen to twenty bucks. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about the game itself to sell you even more so they're taking advantage of adaptive triggers uh it's gonna be 20 mm. trombones to unlock 50 <laughs> cards to collect and a slew of tracks across different game modes there is plenty to keep players busy on the way to common trombone champs and the trailer too it looks like you can spray paint your trombone to make your own custom designs i think and there's custom it's, songs too and you can freestyle as well apparently like so you don't have yeah. to stick to whatever they're putting on there's a mode where yeah. you can just go crazy do whatever you want uh, so maybe yeah. people like there could be like funny videos out there of people doing covers on the trombone of, you know, whatever. They are that. beach. There's custom songs. People have Mariah Carey. They got Shrek songs. They got Christmas songs. Shrek. All kinds of shit. And you can Shrek's download. How? I, I'm yeah. just not. I'm not understanding how you're playing a saxophone like free in free form and like. You actually can like hit all the keys on the well, saxophone. Many, no, it's like, a trombone. A trombone. Oh, trombone. Not saxophone. It's just like uh, you, you just like yeah. Pompous, them yeah them oh pompous, right, pompous. that's all it is. It's just like mm-hmm. yeah. But I think it still does have like three, like or, tilt three or four button things on the I don't and know tilting what those keys. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for the pitch, you tilt it up and down, and then you. Oh, it's you like this man sounds like yeah. yeah it's very simple. The trombone before you sucked on that brass. Pipe. I play the game. I play the game a little bit when it came okay. out flat. Okay. And then yeah. I was like, all right, I'm gonna wait until comes VR. And then I saw the mods. I was like, all right, I gotta. You get have this these shit. American, like when you were you were in high school, guys. Did you have the marching bands with the trombones? You saw <laughs> that was, that? You were, you probably you be that the type that. of I did the not. fucking marching band, play the band. fucking. But you were on that triangle, banging that little <laughs> triangle in front of the cube. <laughs> probably that's the only thing I could play because I don't play no instrument. Um, uh, but yeah, trombone chat. Yeah. I hope it does well because it is flat to viewer, and I want them to be as successful as possible. Yeah, uh, but the it's all in our in our in everyone's best interest if they yeah. do well. I just wish they opened yep. with that flat out, you know, because they got they're working on that flat out game. If that came, if that was their first it one, cares. I think that would be like the one that yeah. would make them some money, you know. Just ask for a code. Oh, right. relax. Just take it easy. 
so the next thing they talked about then was a game called Masters of Light, which looks kind of it reminds me of Res. I don't know if you've yeah. seen yeah. the footage of it. Definitely so, Res vibes from that. You're just like a a trace outline thing floating around in space, and like you're casting magic spells at weird shapes, and it's just like trippy shit. Uh, apparently this game's already out because the what they're talking about is it's like oh it's finally coming to PSVR too so I assume that means it's already out in like PC or Quest or whatever yeah uh, but they're bringing uh. 90 frames per second I assume that means native and haptic feedback but uh, this is because this looks like a game that's gonna sell you know 20 copies and you'll never hear about it again Except, well no stores yeah, yeah. will buy this if the flat VR There's... was doing shit like this I'd be like no way it's gonna fucking trash but you know the other one makes more sense. This it, like it's it's good to have these kind of games in VR. It's just like it's not my not my kind of game. But I mean, I still think games like this should be out there that are kind of like res, so like that yeah. kind of experience. For the problem is that the, just, ma the majority of games are like this. You know, not specifically like this, but like these kind of small yeah. kind of weird things. Instead of it'd be nice to have a sprinkle of the big ones amongst all this. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, the only one of those that I actually liked was uh, uh, Thumper. That was a mm. Thumper, yeah, a good one. Crazy, but that was like a yeah, like I, very early view where I was like, okay, yeah. Kind of like but I, I I liked it. I I just got to a stage where it was just too hard for me. I couldn't get past it <laughs> when I had to do too much, uh, too many things all at once, yeah. and I just couldn't handle it. I just couldn't get past a level, and I was like, all right, I'll try it again later, and I never went back to it. <laughs> so this one's coming out on the eighteenth of December. For anyone interested, buy it. Uh, you buy it and then review us. Stream, right. stream every game. Stream every game. Oh, I'm not stream that shit. You buy us and tell us about us on Touching Tips. I'll um, buy Trombone Champ. Okay. The last one then is Mayor, which released as as soon as the updates it is as, or revealed us, I should say. It was like a stealth drop. Uh, so if, I don't know if you watched the trailer for that, but as soon as I saw, it, I was like, this looks like Ico. You know, yeah, that PS2 game, Ico, it's very even the like the art style. Oh, I love that game. I think there's a little girl that guides you around the place as well. But what's unique about this is that you got like two different control modes. You can play the game using your eyes only with eye tracking, or you can use the dual sense control or the sense controllers, I should say. Um, but you control like a bird that shoots out electricity or some shit. So you use that to solve puzzles. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's down your alley or not, but. I think it looks cool. I like. Uh, I really like Ico. I really like uh, Shadow of the Colossus, and uh, the art style and the the visuals of it look really cool. Um, I but I've heard it's really short. That's what I've okay. heard from. <laughs> so that's kind of a downside. But I mean, I still as long as it's, it's not overpriced. Euro. It is thirty euro. Thirty so euro. That's thirty okay, dollars. Well, that's so that would be like two hundred Canadian dollars. That'll be hitting like forty-five, forty-five, fifty dollars <laughs> for me. That's yeah. uh, maybe a little. Yeah, it might be a bit steep, but especially high. if it's short. You know, that's a bit steep for something short, maybe. Ten dollars. Yeah. yeah, but it looks nice. And what kind? Of, what kind of replay value would be there? Like, yeah. unless you just want to see see the game again. But once you do the puzzles, and it's like, all right, I know yeah, the puzzles now. Do with your eyes yeah. now, Buzz. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But this makes more sense though. It is scary things. The eye tracking is better implemented, you know, and the stuff yeah. like Firewall. Yeah, know, yeah this is like, but this is like, uh, like this. there's so few games using the eye tracking. Like, that's, it's unique. It's worth talking about just because it's using eye tracking. It's like Synapse and now this, you know. I know Firewall Ultra as well, but they didn't really use it much, like, except for the fucking grenade throw. They yeah, did. Tracking. They just didn't too use much, it well. Yeah, too much. <laughs> they just um, But not, in, yeah, not in the ways that, you know are unique you know it couldn't they could have worked without us is what i mean whereas synapse yeah. it's like you need the right. tracking to work um anyway that's all what do you think about overall about this um uh, this blog post like do you think this is a good sign of sony supporting us or is it kind of like just them be like okay we have nope. to do this it's our it's biannual obligation to talk about psvr2 yep it's it's at least something. That's all I'll say. It's yeah. better than it's better than absolute silence. But yeah, um, I keep in mind yeah. one of these one of these announcements was bad news. It was like, oh, this cool game is delayed. So like that's that's one of the announcements. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're getting excited about, you know. And obviously it's not bad because yeah. when you they, when yeah. you delay a game and they make it better, etc. Obviously, but you know what I mean. It's not like you, we you just don't, don't want any more. Trash rush games anymore. No, yeah. I agree with that. I agree with the delay, and it doesn't bother me because they only announced it like what 
October and then I was like oh it's out in December so I was like cool that's coming out really soon so March is still not long away you know yeah uh, so it's fine I just I just really want to play Aces of Aces of <laughs> Thunder I know that's the only fucking game that's, I care yeah. about Why I just I, I, I really want another good multiplayer uh, multiplayer uh shooter type of game yeah well, now that we saw more footage and we know it's not two fucking player multiplayer then now i'm like no, yeah, now i'm be, getting very fucking excited legit, yeah too legit to quit i just want to know just, just give me a date just or just like uh december 16th hold on let, we've got a there's a ace of thunder topic coming up later on so hold hold on that Ooh, uh, yay but next we're going to talk about pirates vr jolly roger <laughs> This game actually looks good. <laughs> this game looks good. It has it has a weird name though, but it does look good. Yeah, this is the game that like they announced this on PC ages ago, and I was like, damn, I hope this comes yeah. to PS4 too because it looks good. But then they showed this new. Tra- I don't. Did you see the Lasers trailer? Ah, uh, yeah, it I've has, been watching like, cool everything. Shots of like the Paris flying around, but then it shows like the enemies running towards you, and they're just like, just like <laughs> legendary. I got like legendary tail vibes from the way they kind of bounce towards you, and then you just whack them away. I don't know if the gameplay looks very exciting, but like mm. the visuals look nice. Um, but it's made by the people who did Afterlife Viewer. I don't know if you remember that one. Yep, I do. Mm, if not. I don't think that was like an amazingly well received game, so that's a little bit concerning for me as well. Um, single player? I think so it's a single yeah. player game, yeah. Single player game. My god, trash. But the yeah. good news is it's coming quarter two 2025 for us on PS4 too, but those suckers over on Steam are going to be playing us in January so they can find out if it's trash and then if, we'll know then if it's trash and then we can avoid it. What's single player, so. So what? Uh, Batman a single player too. You got Batman, didn't you? Ah, but it's fucking Batman. This is some random oh, this fucking is pirate Roger, with a parrot. <laughs> heard what of the Jolly fuck Roger? is Jolly Rogers? Jolly Rogers? It's like a iconic. fucking candy. So Listen, delicious. nobody cares about that. It's just gonna, it's just gonna make me want to. Uh... <laughs> if it's multiplayer, if, if it's multiplayer, it always, for the most part, it 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 can make a game a lot more fun, a lot more entertaining. You know, a lot more yeah. valuable. It'll There's just so make me want now. see if these. It'll make me want see if these even more after <laughs> I start yeah. playing that game. Yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be very yeah. linear. Um, yeah, the combat didn't look amazing to me either. But no. hopefully the exploration right will be cool. Looks... I don't know. Uh, it looks like there's a bit of climbing as well. Like you know, you go up to rock walls and shit and climb them. I don't know. Anyway, you ready for the next topic? <laughs> Uh, the next one is Synapse is coming to PS Plus, but only on the premium tier. Premium so, tier. My question for so, you is, is this a sign of Sony pushing PS4 too, or is it just their way of padding the benefits of premium tier? You know, what do you think about that? Um, I have, I have, I have the base PlayStation Plus, right? Yeah. So, is the tier that this is on is that the next tier above two, where I am? Two tiers. It's higher. two tiers. It's, two it's the tiers highest higher. tier. It's the it's, highest. The, it's premium. the premium. It's premium. So, what's the one above just regular PlayStation extra. Plus? Uh, what's extra? Extra. Okay. Yeah. There's extra, and then there's the premium. There's essential, extra, and then premium. Premium. Okay. So it's part of the premium. So how much would I have to pay extra from uh, just the base PS Plus to premium for on the- like a for how long? Like for like one month. Yeah. If, I, if I wanted to upgrade for one month, how much would I pay? Well, how much is the the, the premium is the one that you want? The premium is seventeen ninety nine a month. So if the basic one, essential is the one you have or you want an extra? Essential is the one everybody yeah, has. Ten dollars a month. No, PlayStation, Pl- PlayStation Plus. This this the regular PlayStation Plus. Yeah, but yeah that is, that's it's, called it's, essential now. Oh, that's essential. Yeah, it's ten dollars. Ten dollars. See, I don't. I still don't even know the names of all these things know. after all it's, this time. It's, it's ten, fifteen, yeah. and eighteen. Eighteen, at least in America, eighteen dollars okay. is the the premium. The most expensive one is yeah. eighteen dollars a month. So it's it's almost double. But I I have the uh, like I have the yearly subscription right to PlayStation Plus Essentials whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so if I want okay. if I if I go in, if I was to click on 
Synapse, and it says, right. do you want to upgrade to be able to download this? Would it charge me like a one-time fee for like a month? I or would it be like... Use... I... You would have to choose. Like it'd be like, do you want? Yeah, yeah we'll probably give you or, or upgrade yeah. for the year. Like yeah. upgrade the rest yeah. of your subscription for a year. Yeah, if you do the year, month. it's yeah. going to be cheaper than if you do it per month. So they try and lure you that way. Right, but yeah. it's one hundred and sixty dollars a year for the premium and yeah. eighty dollars for um, right for the regular. So it's and by the way, yeah. the premium is like I think the worst one. The extra is the best one. So if you get extra, you get all these like. It's kind of like Xbox Game Pass. You get access to their version of Xbox Game Pass, all these PS4 and PS5 games. Yeah. Whereas Premium mm -hmm. only gives you like the classic PS1, PS2 games or whatever. And apparently now these PSVR games that are sticking in there too. And cloud streaming. Is that Premium only or is that extra? Hmm. Premium. So okay. Premium, the, only, the, the difference, like you said, Premium gives you the classics, which I don't give a fuck trash. That might as well get an Xbox if you want to play all those games. Yeah. Uh, classics, game trials, which I don't give a fuck about, but it's nice that they have trials. Mm -hmm. uh, cloud streaming for PS5 games, and then I guess movies, Sony Pictures catalog movies. Okay. Yeah, but if you get extra, so, you can do the cloud streaming for PS4 games, I think. But PS5 games extra? are just premium. I could be wrong. Uh, but, uh, that's if you care, if you care about cloud streaming, which a lot of people yeah. don't. The only reason I mentioned it is because I was wondering, like, if I could pay a, a like a smaller amount. To be able to play the game for like a month just a and month. then beat it. I'm sure yeah. they'll let or, you. Or, or, I'm sure they'll let you. What, what, what's just what's the difference? What, what, fucking game <laughs> me at this stage. Yeah, that, I don't know what the difference would be. I mean, whatever the cost oh, of the game depending, is. Depending on how far off the month. No, let's like, say so you're halfway yeah. there. They'll probably charge you like five, ten bucks. If you, if you, um, if you're in your PlayStation and if you click it, it will, it will do the math for you and it'll tell you. Because I do it all the fucking time. It asks me when I'm okay. just looking at my fucking Good. at the PlayStation store. If you look in the PlayStation, it always tells you, oh, upgrade for you have five days on your thing. Sometimes like the, the, like the first time I played Spider-Man, I had five days on my thing. And I it was like upgrade for 99 cents. I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to play fucking Spider-Man for fucking 99 cents. Uh, if you want to buy so snaps, it just depends. it's 36 euro right now. So that's probably $36. Damn. Mm -hmm. So it didn't really drop in price very much. Like I don't think this is doing much to push no. PSVR two. I don't. Know, is there? A, I need to look at the premium library. Is there a few PSVR two games there now? Yeah, they had that la that one batch that had like uh like five games that included Saints and Sinners one and two, right? And was that like a few other games. still there though? Is it like because they they leave the it should be for a while, don't it, they? Well, it, it, it's like. It's it's the same as it's the same as like the PlayStation Plus Essentials. Like once you download it, you can have access to them as long as you no, stay the, no, on that tier. Different. No, it's like, it's like Game Pass. So Game Pass gives you access. It's like Netflix basically. So you can use everything while they're there, but things can leave after. Oh, it doesn't time. stay in your library. No. It doesn't like. It's not what like the a plus. <laughs> Like games get deleted so like from the from the list. Like uh, like it says here, I don't know when the fuck this article was, but huh. uh, Walk Up on Mini Golf, uh, Ghostbusters, Saints and Sinners, Synth Riders, yeah, as well a bunch of the games on the PS Plus that they added. I don't know. Yeah. But it's a rotating catalog, like Pumpkins is saying. Uh, yeah, it's rotating. I'm just trying. Like I can't. It's, there's no easy way to just look at premium only. It's this is right the whole thing. You see oh, it? premium only? What yeah, do you the mean? The premium only catalog. Like, what are the games in that by themselves? Not the extra ones. Well, no, but the you got the reg, the essential, and then extra, and then the premium. The, I don't think that the the VR games are on the extra, not on the premium, right? No, that Snaps is on premium. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we just spent mm. 10 minutes specifically <laughs> talking about that. <laughs> Yeah, I just looked it up well. there in Synapse and said, subscribe to Premium, get it for free, even though you got to pay 160 euro or whatever. But you know what I mean. I, why why can't they just give us, like, one game every once in a while just on the base, like, PlayStation Plus? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. They should, like, yeah. Every month just, should be one PS Vr 2 game. In addition, like, don't replace any of the ones there, just in addition. No, just, to but, just add game. another one. Yeah, just to... You know? And you own, like, Horizon should be one of them by now, right? Because you won't last. Yeah. Like Grand Turismo. Well, maybe not Grand Turismo Seven because they're still making them a lot of money. But I doubt Horizon is making them much money these days. Uh, yeah. like, like Synapse will be another great one to put on it. You know. Oh, speaking of Grand Turismo Seven, I just remembered something I just wanted to point out. I was watching that uh, 
that little clip of like the new cars on the PlayStation uh, YouTube uh, site. Yeah. And I was just watching the trailer, and then I was, looked at the comments a little bit, and I saw this one guy as <laughs> a comment, and I totally like caught me off guard because I didn't even consider it. But someone was like, "Wait, there's a." Let me see what it, I, I actually took a picture of it because I was like, I need to remember what he said. This better be amazing, almost, because you set the scene. <laughs> the expectations are sky high, you know. I had to take he says, a picture of this. I didn't, I, I didn't know GT7 had PSVR 2 support. It didn't say anywhere on the box. Damn. That's what his comment says. Well, so someone went and bought Grant, and then someone in the comments said, like, well, Gran Turismo 7 launched before yeah, this uh, also. their VR came out, so that's why it's not on the thing. And then it's just like, well, that's. There's people out there that don't follow like the VR channels, and like that just shows like the lack. <laughs> I don't know how well, like this one particular person. I don't know how into video games or how much he follows like gaming websites or whatever. But if someone's still out there, like that can be like, wait, Gran Turismo Seven can play be played in VR. But that's what Sony, <laughs> it's like Sony ridiculous. That, this is Sony's fault, you know. Exactly. This is like that's how how can they have one. Even like someone out there that doesn't understand that you can play Gran Gran Turismo Seven in VR yet, it's been out all this time. How but how is there not a Gran Turismo Seven bundle for PSVR two? Exactly, it's just the horizon. <laughs> like it should be. That's it. It should be right on the box. It's ridiculous. Uh, and Resident Evil A's and Resident Evil Four, you know, they should all be bundles. But they're not. And then everyone bundles. starts saying in the comments like, "Oh man, you need to. You haven't really played it yet until you play it in VR." All the VR people kind of. I bet I recognize it. every single name that's replying to him as well. It's like all the same people who are on every single fucking YouTube channel. Maybe. VR channel. Yeah. Um, no. I just thought that was uh, kind of like, oh wait, yeah, I guess yeah. there's actually some people out there that don't even realize yet that you can play Gran Turismo Seven in VR, which is yeah. outside our bubble. Like you know, people probably yeah. don't even know the headset exists. If you how much adver- headset, how much advertising is really out there that's like showing off Gran Turismo Seven outside of like the YouTubers that are like always talking about it? Yeah. There you go. This is what we're up against. Um, all right, next topic then. <laughs> Starship Troopers has recently got hands-on impressions from some uh, YouTubers like Beard of Enjo, Gamertag, um, probably some others I can't think of right now. And they've got some surprisingly positive takeaways. Yeah, but from it's the actually I've seen, not garbage. It still looks like shit to me, but... I haven't watched fully their videos and stuff like that, so maybe they've got like you know, like the gameplay looks it feels amazing to play or whatever. But from all the footage I saw, nothing really changed my mind. But I don't know. Did you watch? Did you watch yeah. any of this? And did, like, were you convinced? I checked out GTS and I watched some of Beardos as well. And what do you think? It, it could like for the right price, like any VR game, I think could be fun in like a co- cooperative uh, like shooter type of game even if the graphics aren't like super high end i mean you can still always have fun in vr if it's done right so i don't know <laughs> i don't know i i think so i mean like and if it, if it's did done they, right that is when they played it did, were they playing in co-op or was it like single player for them do you know um i think from what i from what i saw it i don't think they were playing together i think GT was just playing like a single player, just talking about it, and it was like playing in the background as he was kind of talking about it. Okay. Uh, the VR grid is at least the review. There's a couple of pieces of footage that there's another person in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping that they'd have like sometimes they have a stream where they all kind of play together and then they just kind of like post it like. Yeah, it just looks for like a bunch just of looks them. Like asked me, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Sorry. It is really hard to kind of like get past the graphics at this stage. Like, we're not just, PlayStation not VR yet. It's just visuals. It's just like no, the gunplay doesn't look like amazing to me. Even for PSVR 1, these are trash yeah. graphics for yeah, PSVR 1. If you compare that to Fairpoint, like Fairpoint looks two generations ahead of what they yeah. like. You know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, someone already did that. Someone already had to like back exactly. a, a side by side comparisons yeah. of the two. Because they got big hands. So the game is fun, amazing. though. That's what they're the saying. The game is fun. Look about Walkabout. But. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, it but does, that's a totally like different. Company. That's that's not even really comparable. You're talking about like a like standing around just putting, as opposed to like you know an action running around shooting guns and seeing. Yeah, just, but but look at the graphics. I mean, still, this is like yeah. mobile shit. No, I mean, I, it 
you you can let it go in something like walkabout i mean because it's you're just doing like a golf game it's yeah like you're focused entirely on the physics yeah game and the physics yeah game we're good. Right. physics are the main thing where yeah. this is like you, you're seeing if you're seeing like a giant you know insect like coming up on you to kill you and it looks like garbage <laughs> it's like gonna be yes, more so funny but, than if it's, scary. but if it's fun fun then yeah I don't know. I don't. I don't think it. It would have to be. It has to be a pretty good price for me to like buy it and want to try that out. Five dollars. But also, like, I wouldn't want to buy it knowing no one else is going to buy it, and I wouldn't have anyone to do the co-op with. Yeah. Because I, I don't think I'd. I've, I've I think. Assumed... I think the only fun you would get out of that game is if you have some friends, then you just want to goof around in it for a bit and. Yeah. See how it is, but. I have a feeling this, like, for example, when Metro Awakening started getting reviews. And like I was yeah. seeing thumbnails saying like masterpiece and shit like that. And now after playing this, I'm like, this was severely overhyped. In my opinion, it's still, I'm enjoying it. Having because a lot of all these YouTubers, that's what they do. They, they but that's what I'm saying. Like this, I feel thing. like this will be the same situation here. That's like my Gus is saying is like, because I got to trust my mm-hmm. with what I'm seeing with my eyes. You know, I got to trust that shit. Like I just can't see myself enjoying it. And I feel like a lot of people will be in the same boat. But we'll see. We'll see if there's backlash. Yeah. And I'd be happy to be wrong because obviously more good games, the better. Uh, yeah. But yeah. When is it? When does it actually come out? They were playing it early. Right? Is it already so. out in uh, Quest? And we got to like wait for PS. Oh, yes. Too? Right. Right. It got a little bit of wait, uh, more of a wait on PlayStation VR too. That's no, why. It's Sony, yeah. It's a Sony yeah. game, but uh, whatever. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next thing I want to talk about briefly. <laughs> uh, is Exo Cars? This game we've known about for a good while now and i think that's another one that kind of looked really bland to me when just visually like compared mm-hmm. to something like grand turismo but they since announced that they're adding a combat mode where basically like you know you drive over the mystery boxes you get a weapon and then you can use yeah. it against other people and right. all of a sudden i'm way more interested just for that uh, so the only the only the only downside as soon as i heard them say it can only handle what was it four i think in the in the combat mode you have four players is that it i think it's only four players when you're doing the combat mode that's disappointing to see this yeah. is the questification this is the quest effect you know it has to run on a quest therefore it has to have i've heard limitations. uh there was a betas right for this game i think lsb played or some people played and said it wasn't the greatest uh, i'm gonna try to game. confirm that really the the fucking movement or the the handling of the cars i thought it was kind of shit okay well it has wheel support too i think so you know, people with wheels, I'm sure, are kind of itching to always get a new game. Uh, that'll support I know them. we already, well, yeah, but still, dude, it's fucking. If it's trash, it's trash. I've, I've, uh, I know we already went that topic, but I'm looking at the reviews for the fucking Starship, tour <laughs> and as good, as good reviews, as good reviews, as four, four stars. On what? On the Mesa uh, Quest store? Yeah, and that's the most accurate review. How, like how many reviews find. though? Does it say how many people reviewed it? Uh, a hundred and one reviews. Okay, that's the developers and developers' families. I guess, but hey, <laughs> we'll see. I, I guess it's twenty dollars on the Questicle, so it's gonna be twenty dollars or twenty five on on Sony. So you might you may ask for a code because that's I feel like that's too much. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'll just wait for uh, without parole. What the, see what they give us, and uh, maybe I'll look into it then. Because I just have like I just can't see myself enjoying it based on what I've seen. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. With Exocars, yeah. I'm trying to get confirmation, but I, I'm pr- pretty sure like when they were talking about the combat mode, it was only going to be four-player. Uh, I believe you. I believe that. Uh, because obviously they're going to have a lot more particle effects and all kinds of shit going on with explosions and, you know, yeah. all that shit. Harder so. to bring everybody in. So, so I mean, how many how... players is it outside of that mode, though? Two. Shut up, bitch. Oh, in a regular race? Yes. I think it's more than that. Yeah, but like, is it eight, six? You know, is it just dropping two people or are we dropping half or what are we I don't know. Like? I'd have to go watch that video again. If it's 12, like 12 would be a good number to have. And then if it's been cut down to I feel four, bad I saying like trash because, you know, these people work on these games, but like, I mean, they're <laughs> they don't look very appealing, you know? Yeah, but remember fucking Torn Carts on PSVR yeah. 1. Like, we had fun with that. At least I did. I mean, it made me sick, but. I enjoyed it. It was twenty four dollars for one time of playing. It was not worth it. But yes, yeah, so it's it's yeah, touring cards. You remember right? Remember? The fucking, how do you remember the price? 
Because it was expensive. Because I was like, God damn it. I just spent $24 on this shit. And we played it once. Yeah, it's like, we're like uh, what were you saying about the movie tickets, you know? You go to the cinema. But the movie. Yeah, but $24 from a movie ticket. I better. Yeah, but that's the popcorn. That's the popcorn and the food as well, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I guess so, but fun. still. Hey, but he, yeah, but. And he took my footage and then he met that into a trailer. Remember that? And that then it good. went bankrupt because of this. Yeah, <laughs> then we never heard from him again. That's right. Uh, uh, but yeah, are we ready to move on to the next topic? Or is there anything else we want to say about ExoCares? No. Pre order it. Pre order it? All right. It's it. Like it's already out on, on Quest, isn't it? Is it? I think. I think, I think it is. Maybe that's the, the version that they were re reviewing. Is the Quest version? Exo Cars on Meta Quest, the best platform to play every game. Uh, twenty dollars. It's out on the Questicle. It has four point one stars. It says, Please. "I haven't had this much fun in a racing game since forever." This guy's a fucking shill. The people complain about the controls are floaty. Cars simply need a better. Simply need to get better at playing the game. These people are fucking idiots. How do you know? So you need to get better. The, 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 everything's not bad. You're just, you're just bad at the game. Well, it has really good reviews. I almost yeah. now, now, I'm, now I'm skeptical about these uh, fucking quest reviews. <laughs> it didn't take right, there we much. go. It didn't take like much. others have stated, <laughs> the I mean, graphics are coming decent. from the biggest quest uh, <laughs> promoter. The handling the handling. In your, in your How, many? How many reviews? How many reviews for that? Don't believe the others. These vehicles drive like hover cards, hover mm. cards, gliding and spinning everywhere. Graphics are pleasant enough, but my patience weren't thin. So basically, what LSB said, I think the controllers are not the greatest. All right, so, so you can get used they fix the controllers, so it seems like it'll be a little bit. If you bit play more. Gran Turismo 7, like the rally tracks, that kind of feels like you're going around in a hover car, too. Like, I think that's just gonna be yeah, just off road. This... It's just lots of skidding and stuff, yeah. but I mean, also, the game would feel a lot different if you're using a wheel or a controller. So, I yeah, wonder yeah, how. Yeah. I wonder if these people that are reviewing the game are using the wheel or are they just using the, uh, the dual sense? Maybe, but let's yeah, most, you use most the dual sense. No, they're probably using. I'm not dual shock. Uh, would they would they use just the regular dual sense or the sense controllers? Like, how would you play that with the controller? The sense controllers, because on the Questicle, you only can play with the fucking move yeah, so or the, whatever they call it. Oh, so man. it's probably gonna be trash. But hmm. before, it's like whatever another racing game, which of course I like racing games. But it's like, do we have Gran Turismo? Like, what the fuck else do we need? Like, that's what? the peak. But if they do the shooting and all that shit, I think it will be more entertaining. That's you know? what I'm saying. I wasn't too interested in this. And then it's like, oh, we're adding the combat mode. It's like, okay, we need it. Because we've been yep. watching like a Twisted Metal for a long time. Yep. And obviously this won't Hopefully be not as trash. good as Twisted Metal, I'm sure. But yeah. mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Uh, okay, so next topic is exciting. Did you see the new Aces of Thunder video where they showed off? the user interface or like the yes. using this little tablet. Uh, give your thoughts. Give your thoughts on this new footage. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. Because the show, like the, he's got a tablet. He's going through, he clicks on game modes. But the problem is you don't know if he's looking at single player shit or if it's like online stuff. And there's apparently there's, there's custom modes as well. So you can like create custom battles and shit. So it's like hard to know what's what if you know what i'm saying it shows a little map as well where it shows like you know plane icons tank icons and you know enemy icons and shit like that so i've heard someone uh make a point that they they kind of wish that it wasn't like a tablet because they think it would be more appropriate if you like took out like a she like a book her. yeah or or just like a like a a notepad or something or a book that had like pages kind of like phasmophobia where you take your book out and you can kind of flip through it yeah that might be more appropriate because you're supposed to be in World War Two, and then you bring out like this iPad and you're like yeah. going through a screen, and it kind of like okay, well, it's function. It, it's it's supposed to be there for function, but in just in terms of like I'm where you sure are and in, in sitting in like a World War Two plane. Well, it's just like okay. Well, listen, I've heard that as well. I've seen a lot of people say that, and I agree yeah. because like it's out of place, but at the same time, it's like. I don't give a fuck to like read well, when it's exactly. especially because it's readable exactly. and like I said, because yeah. phasmophobia menu is fucking and now when you when you learn how to do it it's not as complicated well, it, fuck, wouldn't have to, it's, it's, it wouldn't it's, have to do yeah. it exactly like phasmophobia did they could do it yeah. like, I get your better point. I get your point but like it's at the end of the like you see that menu probably only at the start of the game then you hit launch and then you're not gonna be looking at the tablet once you're on the plane like so yeah like, yeah it's, it's just it's a little minor thing but yeah. i mean yeah whatever <laughs> uh, i get it like and you know 
especially with like authenticity and all this kind of shit. But uh, but yeah, we saw some other stuff as well, like loadouts. You could see like you could pick through different weapon types and like those tracer rounds and stealth rounds and all this kind of shit, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, and people pointed out that it showed off one of the modes like indicates it's like Iwo Jima and all this kind of shit. It's like so, it's definitely like aircraft carrier battles going on and shit like that too. Yeah, or maybe you're defending an aircraft carrier or attacking one or something. Uh, so, you know, shit looks good. Shit's looking tight and hype. But the problem is we're yeah. still not we're we still don't have the release date. So I'm getting more and more worried it's going to slip to 2025 because I can handle Hitman slipping. But I can't handle I both of them slip. I need, I need I'm, one of them. <laughs> I, need, I need Aces of Thunder, like, ASAP. But yeah. we're, like, we're, what, getting close to the end of November now? And they yeah. still don't... Um, yeah, it's not looking good, unfortunately. Yeah, gonna get get delayed. Who knows? They might just so drop sad. it like other fucking but, trash flying game. 100%, yeah. Just, like, oh, it's out now. And the, I, I think something weird is going on with them and Sony, like... I mean, yeah, I think so. Relationship got damaged somehow weird. or something, but just yeah. the way that Sony do won't you, promote it at all. Do you really think? Do you think that there's well, going to be <laughs> uh, two player and one plane, or do you think it's going to be an AI that shoots from your from the back? I assume I'm guessing AI, but I'm not 100. Mm. percent And then maybe you can stop. Know. Maybe you can possess him when you want to shoot out the back, while then an AI takes over like autopilot when you're doing that, maybe. But. Uh, you can switch back and forth like at will and just have like a guess. pilot. Yeah, I maybe. Guess, yeah. And all he does is just kind of, kind of fly straight while yeah. you shoot. Maybe yeah. that uh, could be a thing. But also, um, yeah, this uh, this new gameplay footage. Where was that to be found on the PlayStation <laughs> YouTube? And like, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. nothing. This is one of nothing, the best nothing. looking. This is one of not, the best looking PS4 two games that you can't get on yeah. Quest, and they're not talking about it. Like, what's not like, talking about it? Not promoting it. There. Nothing. Because they, they promoted it at the some. beginning, you know, it was like they announced it on their, was it a blog post? And then they put the trailer on their channel, like normal, it's like, yeah. okay, everything's fine. And then like six months ago or something like that, they Dude, put out God. this really cool trailer and Sony never acknowledged it, never retweeted yeah. it or anything like that even. Like a retweet doesn't cost anything. You know, that you hit a button on Twitter and then you <laughs> retweet it. So <clears throat> they don't seem too interested in it helping them. But I can't understand why, because Gaijin Inter or Entertainment, I should say. Uh, they're big, you know. This is one like this is War Thunder, a spinoff for mm -hmm. War Thunder. So this is a big IP. Like millions of people play War Thunder. When flying games are are more popular than some random fucking shooting or some random rhythm game, like you know, you can really appeal with this game to a lot of new peeps because the graphics are fucking great and everything Absolutely. about it looks amazing. Like this is. I hope game. it. I really, really hope it turns out to be good. Like I hope it's not like Sony. Like worst case scenario, Sony like saw the product and they're like, uh. I don't think that's going to do well. <laughs> they yeah, just kind of stopped promoting it. That can't be it because it does look good. I'm just saying yeah, worst case scenario. Because they, they stopped not. promoting it ages ago. So like, Yeah. Why, why, has it been, why is this happening? I don't know. I don't know. And when it does come out, then are they going to acknowledge it? Are they going to nope. let people know it's out? Is there going to be a nope. blog post then? Like they, they can't get away. Maybe they'll they do they a launch trailer. They can't away with this. You know, it's launch trailer. <laughs> Probably launch trailer on their website or their YouTube, YouTube channel. Listen, if YouTube you're, channel. If you're ignoring a game like this, which is one of your aces up your sleeve, it just feels like you're trying to kill your own Ah, channel. I saw you do that. You know, I wasn't, that was the, pardon the pun. Pardon the pun. Muzz. He didn't even, he, he, Muzz, he didn't even. <laughs> he didn't even. He <laughs> yeah, honestly, he's, he's right. right. He's right. I didn't even think about it until you said it. But, <laughs> but it is. This is like, yeah. imagine if Method didn't talk about Batman. Yeah. This is what yeah, this is what it's like, you know? Oh. To be it's fair, dangerous. not not quite to the scope of like a <laughs> IP of like a Batman okay. oh, in so terms so of so a... I've seen like they put a ridiculous number, War Thunder play. No. Uh, I I'm I'm not saying bad. anything about the quality. I'm not saying anything about the quality. I'm just talking about like the Nothing. the Batman. I'm just saying like the just the name of Batman alone. I, you know, I'm, okay. get... I'm not talking about quality yeah. either, but I'm talking like there was a statistic they put out where it was like War Thunder now has like 70 million players or something like that, which is... Oh, know, War Thunder, yeah. 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 So it's like none of the Arkham games had that many players, you know? So it is like a huge IP. It well, is. It's not like they got to start from scratch. They already had a VR mod on the other game. And also... So it's not like they're going to, you know, fucking yeah. start from zero. And also, if, uh, if this does well and it sells a lot, there's potential... For like them to go into like whatever else they want to do, maybe they'll have like a VR tanks, 
or, or just do war thunder um, itself like you know bring it all or over. yeah <laughs> if they can get like yeah some some kind of war or this is like the closest thing like it's hitman and this are the closest yeah. thing to triple a like hitman is a triple a game but this is like i don't know it's in, like an in-between kind of a space but because it's using war thunder tech it has all the benefits of a triple a game because it's using that engine you yeah know, they're using the money and all the technique and the information they have experience i should say from building that game and they're bringing it to aces of thunder uh, so it's like it's just crazy to me that Sony are not promoting it, and I don't know why. But uh, it feels like they're suffoc they're putting they're holding a pillow over the PS Vr two. You know, it's <laughs> in bed and they're holding the pillow over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just go to sleep. Just go to sleep, PlayStation VR two. <laughs> it's all they're promoting stuff. they're promoting Mayor and they're promoting Masters of Light. But you know Yeah. They're not showing any well, trailers for Aces of Thunder. Crazy. Are they even showing anything about Exo cars? No, or... I don't think so. I don't think, I don't so. think so either. I think I, well, I don't think I've seen that. anything because that's a small indie game that nobody knows about. So, like, I get yeah. that compared to Aces of Thunder, though. You know. Yeah. It's... But you would okay. How much money does it cost you to get a fucking your your fucking social media people to gather a list in trailers of like Meta does of the games coming out on PSVR two, regardless if they're also in Quest. Games are coming in PSVR 2. Make a list of the games and put the trailers, short trailers, five games coming out this month, you know, for PSVR 2. Like, that shit alone doesn't cost much money, doesn't cost much time, and it'll be fucking huge uh, and a good way to promote it. But, like I said, it's, it's fucking weird that they don't do literally nothing. Nothing for anything. It is weird, because that is, like, okay, fair enough. You're not putting up the posters on those Times Square billboards and all this kind of shit. That costs a lot of money, but this doesn't cost anything, and you're still not doing it. So it's like, mm -hmm. what's going on? Um, all right, you ready to go for the next topic? Because then we're just going to deteriorate into just Sony being bitches for the next half mm -hmm. hour. Well, this is yes. the next topic is also Sony being bitches, but... <laughs> The PS5 Pro has released. Um, yes. So far, there's like a handful of games that do have enhancements on PSVR 2. So No Man's Sky, I think, is maybe the biggest one. Kayak Viewer has also got one too. But there hasn't been anything from first party yet. So Gran Turismo 7. However, with Gran Turismo 7, there is the caveat that not even the flat version of Gran Turismo 7 has the Pro patch yet. So we can't, we don't know for sure yeah. yet if they've done anything with this. Uh, but I think it's shocking that Horizon at least didn't have a day one patch ready to go to because this is your showpiece game. You made sure that this game launched with PSVR two. It's your first party. It's your first party IP. Why don't yeah. you have this showing? Does it cause money? Do to PSVR2? Cause money to to well, make that game run better maybe, and they don't want to spend the money because nobody is gonna fucking buy that shit. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's like chicken and egg. It's like oh, we're not going to bother promoting it because nobody's going to buy us. Nobody's going to buy us if you don't bother promoting us or making it better. Like you know. It's, but but nobody's going to buy never it just, because, cycle. You, never just because you get a little bit better graphics in a game. But you my know, point, listen, really my point is, like, it wouldn't be the graphics. This, I think if they could, if they could just make it so there's no reprojection, that would be all they need to do. Yeah. Even that same with same with same with Gran Turismo. If they can just make it so you have an option to play at 120 reprojection or 90. Not any, uh, but, that, but, but that's only, like, let's say out of all the people that play VR, right? There's, in my opinion, only a few of them, like you, that, oh, man, I'm going to buy it or I'm going to be interested on getting the PSVR or PS4 uh, 5 Pro just because of that slight adjustment of the fucking reprojection. You know what I mean? Hold on and that's why I feel like they just don't, they don't want to invest in it if it costs money to make the game better and be able to run on the pro. I think if you're like such like so into Sony stuff that you would buy a PS Vr two, then you're probably gonna get a pro as well. That's what I'm uh thinking. Yes, about. but probably. but not but not for the PlayStation VR two not specifically, um, but like you would you would be hoping that it would have the oh, improvements. Fuck yeah. No, I'm not spending seven hundred dollars. That should better fucking have every single PS Vr two and PS five update, but it's not, I think, at least not right now. I think this is like a, a barometer to show their level of interest in PSVR 2. And it's, so far they're showing that they don't give a fuck because they haven't done anything for us. They themselves haven't, anything, haven't done anything for us. Hello yeah. Games, a tiny little studio, Hello Games were able to put out a patch almost immediately. Yeah. And Insomniac it's significant. It, it, it's, uh, it's a significant update from what I can tell. Like yeah. No Man's Sky with the, the Pro update. 
like you notice it. Like I was watching gameplay footage of them playing it on the pro, and when you fly into an atmosphere down to a planet, mm -hmm. normally you see like all the stuff like popping up and like the grounds kind of like forming as you're getting closer, and it looks all kind of goofy until you get close enough and it's all settled, right? Yeah. But like as soon as they got into the atmosphere, it looked like everything was like set, like way before, like I'm used to seeing. Yeah, and then. It, it, it gave you more of like as you're flying to the planet everything's there and it's just getting closer it's not getting all like distorted and changing as you're getting close to it yeah. do so you think it's because the that's game, a big change do you think this because it's easier for those games that are already running in another platform at a higher resolution it's easier mm -hmm. for them to just adapt to psvr uh the, the playstation 5 or like no man's sky that's running in pc vr and apparently pc vr looks fucking amazing so I wonder mm. if it's easier for them if the game is already able to do this much more graphics or this much more power or whatever, they just implement that. And if other games don't have them, they have to work more work in getting that implemented. You know what I mean? Maybe that's why mm. only a few games are already out with that thing because it probably takes more work than, than not. But I don't know. Obviously, I don't fucking know about making video I games. I just think it's crazy that they're like Insomniac, they can make sure that they've got four day one patches ready to go. They're like Ratchet and Clank three spider-man games with like ray trays and all that shit day one ready to go but they couldn't do anything for vr day one you know it just it just shows where their priorities at least gran are. turismo you would expect that game at least to have well this is gonna be a problem so yeah. if when that patch does drop and there is no benefit if there is no benefit for ps5 pro i mean that's just another big red flag i mean we're already at the point now yeah. where we've got too many red flags to hold but <laughs> that's like another another one for the pile yeah and considering yeah. it's a big one, like, as much as I love Gran Turismo 7, like, you really notice the reprojection. Like, yeah. when you, like, when you turn your head and you see a car drive by you, it's just like a, like it's a blur cars. behind it. It's two cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah the there's like the, it's like a, yeah, there's it's like a double vision. Yeah. If they can get rid of that and if you can play it in 90, 90 uh, native frames and no more reprojection, everything is just clear no matter where you're looking or how you're turning your head. Then it would just make the game all that much better and more and more uh easy to talk up to people like right now yeah you kind of have to say like oh it's such a great game there is reprojection but then you know like you have to like say that there is reprojection just because it's noticeable right. don't look left yeah right. just, yeah. just look straight right. ahead <laughs> don't move your head too much yeah. everything will look good uh, but yeah i was gonna say something else but it's gone on my head but uh oh yeah resident evil 4 i think did get a pro patch but from what i've heard no benefits to the PS4 mm -hmm. 2 mode. Yeah. So, you know. Looks but that's pretty much party. identical. That's third party, so it's like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Sony, if Sony do it, like if there is a patch for Gran Turismo 7, like it needs to be mm -hmm. benefiting PS4 2, and I think there really should be one for Horizon Call of the Mountain 2. So they don't have a time frame for when the Gran Turismo 7 flat screen is getting... I've heard the... somebody say November, but that was just like a commenter in a Reddit post, mm -hmm. so he could be full of shit. I don't know. I th but do you think it's enough? Like, it's coming out now, so I assume that it was going to come with this update, but apparently it's not. So, but do you think it's enough when the update comes out for the flat version of GT Seven? If the up, if they upgrade the uh, VR version, and the only change they did was make so you could play at nine ninety frames with no reprojection, do you think that uh, would be like that would be uh, at least something? You know, it's like yeah, okay, that would be good enough. They haven't given up completely. Yeah. That would be that would be like my first thing I'd want, and then if they can do any kind of like reflections off the cars as you drive oh, by, yeah. if that's possible, then that would be good, nice too. But I mean, that might be too much to ask for. But I can understand yeah. if that's not the case. Like if, they, if yeah. they're not able to do that, that's fine. Um, we'll see. We'll see how uh, much they okay. take a uh, consider PlayStation VR two. We will. I mean, it should be it should be like their their showpiece. Like they should be like holding it up. Like to like, this is what's possible in VR. Like yeah. you should be like, oh, there is, shouting this. Like there is the fact that they they said uh, you know, the PSSO or whatever that is that AI thing. It's not going to yeah. work on PSVR two until there's going to be some patch later on. So maybe they're waiting for this right. patch and then they'll start showcasing Horizon or whatever with that. Mm -hmm. yeah, if they can make the the the, the PSSO or whatever work on VR, that will be that will be huge because well, they said they will. Okay, well then that's gonna be massive because when when on the PC, I'm sure you guys have played some of the games. 
that you play on the regular like fucking ultra settings whatever and it's kind of shitty and then yeah. you turn the dlss if if you know whatever it is nvidia whatever mm -hmm. and it fucking runs super fucking smooth like that saves a lot of the stuff so if if they already confirmed that it is gonna work i think maybe that's why they're not like of course the game the fucking ps5 pro just came out but maybe like you're right that's why they're just waiting for it to like hey all these fucking games are going to be able to do this psr shit and already look and run a lot smoother you yeah. know yeah so maybe like that, that's be, the whole that's like, great. That they are just waiting for this thing because they did say pssr is coming to ps4 2 games but it would be like they did, well they didn't say when it just said it'll be after the launch it'll be a post-launch thing right um, well so if it makes it any easier well, a lot of people are saying for the PS5 Pro, like, oh, it's not as worth it, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of people, like the tech guys, are really fucking, you know, geeks and then they look at all the shit. They say that probably the best thing about the PS5 Pro is the PSSR. Like, yeah. if they say that shit is fucking the, really, that's really that's good. That's the magic stuff. Yeah. That's and it, if, it, if it makes uh, games easier to uh, make and run in yeah. VR using the PS, the Pro. But then again, you, you can't leave the PS5, right? Like, regular behind oh, but i mean at least at least the but games like, will uh, be more optimized if you have the pro i guess like you'll have the better it's a good better look, running games it's yeah. a good look ahead of like ps6 like i'm sure there's going to be a better version of pss or yeah. in ps6 mm -hmm. from day one yeah and mm -hmm. i'll be giving that mm -hmm. nice boost absolutely well, it's uh, crazy how fast it's going because i remember we we're talking about this like not like a couple of years ago we we're talking about the uh, the way that they implement this new thing and new technology with the AI and all that type of shit. And now it's like the PlayStation fucking has it. I never yeah. expected the PlayStation was going to have that technology. I mean, I guess it wouldn't make sense by my smooth brain. But uh, but it's cool that it's going in that direction, right? Because that gives me more hope about what you say, Mus, about that gap. We're always going to be, as, as Quest, we're always going to be behind the top of the line, which, and I think that's always going to be the case. But I think AI is going to make that gap uh, a lot smaller. Um, all right, next topic then is the PSVR 2 Black Friday deals are coming. So starting on the 26th, mm. or sorry, 22nd of November, which is mm -hmm. just a couple of days, PSVR 2 is going to be 40% off, which over here, and this is, by the way, the bundled version as well is going to be the same price as the yeah. standard version, which is a bit unusual, but whatever. It's going to be uh, 399 for Europe, I assume that's the same in America too, US. So I'm not sure what that is for Canadian uh, money, but is that the same? Is that the same? A thousand dollars. What was the drop it did before? Remember that big fucking drop they did? What was the it, the last the last time it went on sale was like uh, two hundred or one hundred and fifty. It was either one hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars off. So it's basically the same again, because this is two hundred off yeah. for us over here. Forty um, percent. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. Yeah, forty percent off. Was that much? Like, yeah, I can't remember how much it was exactly. It was a huge. Two hundred dollars off. Two hundred. I'm looking at the article right now. It was uh, three hundred and forty nine dollars in the U S. That's how much it was back at um, the last drop. Right. The last drop. Yeah. So it was three three fifty pretty much. So this should be a huge boost in sales. Yeah. Black Friday. Yeah, dude, it Christmas. should. This is a good. This is a good deal. Yeah. For the headset, for all the games that are already. It's a really good buy. I think you should. Has this been confirmed price. for store level or just on the PlayStation on website? Uh, I think it's both. I think both. So you and think they, uh, they like that, you can go and do it? Forty percent off, and then it says yeah, like stop, retailers sure. may vary or whatever. Like that's so. GameStop or Best Buy, you can walk in and probably get this forty percent yeah, off. I think so. If they, if the stores want to compete, the stores want to make money, they have to. The Black Friday deals are uh, always, for the most part. Um, very few are online exclusive, unless it's like fucking TVs that you have to like stand in fucking line or some crazy. I don't see why they wouldn't put this. So this is where this is where Sony, like coming up on the holidays now, and Christmas around the corner, like, and you're gonna put a price drop on the VR like for forty percent off like this, and it's gonna be in retail. Like, why wouldn't like Sony needs to be like, okay, we're gonna choose like certain destinations we're going to set up like a little thing and we're going to have a wheel set up in a best buy mm. and we're just going to just put gran turismo 7 that's all you got to do put gran not turismo happening. 7 it's not happening i'm sorry gonna hold his head under water and then you're gonna watch the bubbles stop yeah but i mean 
if you want to sell one, just put up a little thing with a wheel, put someone in the VR headset, and let them play Gran Turismo for like five minutes. Yeah. And then be like, yep, yeah, it's 40% off. They should have, oh, um, yeah. they should have like must says, like I think at Best Buy, they at one point they had it, or at least for other stuff. They have a fucking representative or two for fucking. They make them work. Uh, the 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 Best Buy people and they yeah. sit like must says the the fucking thing and then do it on Saturday and Sunday at peak times and then you're gonna have a lot of fucking attention. Obviously, there's gonna be kids that want to hoard the thing. But like, now nah, get the fuck out of here. You already played, you know, five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, yeah. Because that'll be the only way. Because like, and even and even though like I really think that we are thinking that oh people just need to know about VR and everybody's gonna jump. I feel like it's not gonna be like that i feel like people are still like for some reason like i don't i don't give a fuck about vr but there's still a lot of people out there who would jump into vr but they just don't know about it like must says because they don't fucking do any advertisement like this i go to best buy and i see this headset but it's behind the fucking glass and a little screen it's like who the fuck yeah I, how the fuck do you expect people to buy this well, and know what it is not, if, like, you can't do a single inst like there's no physical demos anywhere for psvr2 yeah. since launch they so. did it they, they did it for the playstation vr1 uh yeah. at my store at eb games they, they had the, 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 the sony rep the sony rep came and she did it twice since like when the twice, two different times and she set it up and everybody came in and they tried it out and they were like oh that's so much cooler than i thought you know like they they you don't realize until you're in the damn headset yeah, yeah. and that's the only way you can do it is if you had, go to like the best buy and say like oh yeah let like tell the best buy staff to like tell people like yeah if you want to check out vr they're gonna have a rep here on this date and you can come by and buy out uh, yeah, whatever ever, ever since covid though nobody wants to share a headset with anyone else oh covid's like a distant memory now like everyone's oh, back to normal nobody's playing covid anymore get and one like, of those fucking all, all you gotta do is just have the guy like have the cloth and you take the thing off you wipe yeah. it down and you're good they have one of those like they, they used to have those like uh covers like uh kind of like not paper but like you know kind of like disposable a fabric thing. type shit disposable yeah. things and you just fucking pop them and if you're too scared of covid then don't fucking wear them stay at home but they just gotta they just gotta you know showcase their their damn tech like that's what sony reps are for like they go to those stores to like promote the stuff so like let them promote your vr headset because like there's agree. so many people I yeah, agree with you. Like, that's what they people. should do. But I just don't think they ever they will do that because what they didn't do it last time. No. They had this big price drop. They just kind of did it. They barely promoted us. I think the but PlayStation the UK Quest is doing it. The PlayStation yeah. UK Twitter account promoted the sale that time, but the main PlayStation account did not talk about it. That, that was yeah, if Quest crazy. isn't doing fucking demos, Sony is. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And it's definitely 100%. not going to do them. Um, but yeah. Anyway, next topic. <laughs> Green Hell co-op trailer is coming tomorrow. So this, I got, I actually, listen, I got the review copy for this earlier on this year when it actually launched. And I told him when the co-op mode comes out, I'll, I'll review it then. And he, I don't, he never replied to me. I think he was pissed off. Uh, <laughs> I took this <laughs> <laughs> Give me my code. But it's back. finally coming, you know, so I'm looking mm. forward to that. And like the Jeremiah shared it in the Discord, uh, the image, they've got like a teaser image and it looks like you can, you're looking through somebody's eyes, so you can see their hands, the first person view, and he's looking at three other dudes. So it looks like it's four player co op on PSVR 2. Uh, yeah. Damn, it's 25 bucks. Damn. Has mixed reviews. Yeah. Forgotten by devs. Is the... Bought when multiplayer was promised, has not had any updates almost two years. Damn. Mm. The last update it was November 2020, 22, uh, 2022, and appears to be largely abandoned. Damn, in favor of the Quest and the PS versions, yeah, Quest which have been updated to be closer to the original game. So apparently, don't buy the Steam version, buy the Quest and the PlayStation version. Yeah, just, listen, give it a chance. Let's see this trailer tomorrow, see what it looks like, and uh, go from there. I think it can be fun. I will always... Play. I'm always interested to play like a survival type of game in a, in a co-op, especially if it's four-player co-op. Yeah. That game has like loads of like, cool VR interactions of like splitting rocks open and picking up water with a bowl and drinking. I think I, I, I just want to I just want to go wander out in the jungle and then just get killed by like a saber tooth tiger or something. Damn, Damn the native. You just hear me screaming in the background. So just I'm just getting mauled get by a tiger. If you get dragged in that game. That'll be fun. Yeah. When is the update out? Don't know about when it's out, but the trailer for it will come out tomorrow. So I assume they'll have a days with the trailer. Probably, probably fucking tomorrow. Wait, what day is um, tomorrow of the week? Thursday. The what a coincidence! It might be out tomorrow. 
Games Minnesota. come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's that's the schedule. Right, I want to be able to get pulled. I want to get be able to get, get pulled out of the tent while I'm talking to people, <laughs> like <laughs> talking to people. It's a, like a Ghost in the Darkness, if you guys know that movie. No, I've never heard of that. Nope. Nah, it's oh, an old movie. Okay. Michael hey. Doug, Michael Douglas stuff. Is crazy tie, uh, crazy, uh, a crazy. No, it's like a crazy lion, like terrorizing oh, okay. village, and they're trying to hunt it. Interesting. He like he rips people. He has, he has rips like uh, rips like the 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 people out of like tents and stuff and kills them, drags them away. Damn. Nice. Well, hopefully you'll be able to replicate your, your nope. Michael Douglas fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> and Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer, and uh, he looks weird these days. Val Kilmer, what's going on with his face? He looks strange. He's got like um, bad cancer or something. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! All right, no, forget I said that. We'll edit that out. We'll <laughs> cut, to, we'll cut that out. <laughs> Last thing then I want to talk about is what we kind of probably should have talked about when we talked about Gran Turismo already. But like you said, there's an update. It's either out or it's coming out. Is it already out? I thought it was out, but I did turn my PlayStation 5 on since I've uh, looked at the video to confirm. Uh, let me just Google real quick. Preload. Unlocks November 21st. Right. Tomorrow. Strange. Tomorrow. You can pre yeah, so, preload five new cares. That's fucking weird. I didn't know what was going on. A cafe menu. World Circuit events and GT Sophie AI. But we need another course. That's what I want to see next. Um, Give us another, another track. Yeah, another track would be nice. This is 32 gigs. Like, you think there'd be a track with that size? Oh, so that's cars? kind of big. That's kind of big for four, yep. uh, for five cars. Yeah. The update download itself isn't available on P for PS4 yet, but both PS5 and Pro players can download it now, and it's a bit of a monster, um, <laughs> leading to some speculation as to what the contents may be. Um, Interesting. Let me see if I, they're talking about a track or anything. They don't. Okay, so this is a cafe. Ford Escort, Mercedes, uh, Porsche 911, Porsche Mission X, and Suzuki. But they don't see... Suzuki? Other, okay, other contents are unknown at this time. Un and although the very large download size might tempt players into thinking a new circus or circuit location might be part of us, we're tempering our own expectations to it simply being down to a PS5 Pro enhanced patch. Mm, more likely. But it looks like it's possible. They could sneak one in. They're going to have like an update. They'll announce it when it's unlocked, I guess. Uh, but obviously, they know the cars. They tease the cars in the image. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be other shit there. Uh, but yeah, Grand Theft Auto 7. Game that keeps on. Like No Man's Sky, just it's like live servers. It keeps getting updates for free. Keep an eye open on uh, wherever your uh, nearest stores are. If you ever see like a discount on the wheel, you need to, you need to play it with the wheel. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be just for that game though i don't know if i can justify it worth it it's, like, it's, it's worth it good, it needs to be a good deal uh so, yeah okay, so next but thing I mean, is facts you gotta wait until the sale they have maybe there's a, maybe there'll be sale. black friday sales for wheels check out maybe. black friday sale uh keep in mind i'm impoverished um <laughs> just call just call dan he'll help you oh, dan. <laughs> uh we obviously it didn't advertise nobody knows we're doing this by the way i just wanted to keep it a secret i don't know why what? just for fun uh, but obviously that means there's no fax machine for this week but we never did the fax no. machine for the last episode that got cussed so maybe we can tackle those now instead it's that time again for questions and topics submitted by our viewers so let's go to our fax machine and see what we have fax me harder daddy I've been a bad boy so the first one's from the question Donnie Donnie says the PlayStation Stars program just had an update and not in a good way the points earned from buying subscription will no longer be given moving forward. So saving them up for something like a full game will be next to impossible, especially when people who buy physical games don't get anything towards the program. And the fact that the points now have a shelf life of 12 months, redeem all you can as soon as possible. Uh, one, who of you are members of Stairs and do you use this in what way? And in what way? Two, is this yet another way Sony has shown its level of greed by taking away the best thing about the app and what could be the reasons for them doing so other than many people actually using it? I've had to like read 
around the emojis and the brackets and stuff there because uh, he's got a <laughs> he, lot of uh, he, half, half of his, he half of his in, sentences uh, emojis <laughs> he types like there's a ufc fighter i'm gonna send you a, one of his tweets uh named tony ferguson and he is a fucking like just codes just emojis and <laughs> shit like that. It's holy fuck. No, Donnie's, Donnie's like just a reincarnation of like an Egyptian from a long time ago that it's just used hier hier hieroglyphics on like walls. That's how Dan, that's how he speaks his hieroglyphic speak. Yeah. So that's, that's who he uh, is. But yeah, I think that's the scummy, D Donnie, thanks for the question. I think that's a scummy move from Sony because the, for the first time I used it to redeem, I, I built up enough for 20 euro credits and I used it to buy Phasmophobia on PSVR 2. So it was cool because you buy a cool. full game and you get a points. And then if you buy the subscription, which he's talking about, like a 12 month PS plus subscription, you get the points, but now you don't get points for that anymore. So it's like too many people Great. are getting points, obviously. So they're like, Oh, we're losing out on all this money. So cut that. You know, so just, I have not cool. used it. I have not used <laughs> it yet. I always forget about it. And is it something that like everybody earns like uh, the points when they play games? Like no, how does you have it work to opt exactly? Into, so you look on your app right. and it's like they have these little campaigns and it's like play this game today and then you hit start campaign and then if you do it, you get the coins. Right? Uh, but not everything is coins. You know, some of them are like, oh, get this little digital trophy for your digital shelf or whatever. It's like, fuck off. Right. Like, I did look at that. I don't want that. Um, but yeah. I would... Yeah, I doubt I would have. For phasmophobia. I doubt I would have um, enough points to get anything if I've even done anything. I'm sure you've bought games, like even flat games. You get points for every game you buy. So where do you see? Like, can you see like your point, your points total on the app? Like, yeah, you, click, you, you click on that little, you know that number. It's like one, two, three, or four. What level you're on? Nope. On the PlayStation app. One second, I'm just booting this up now so I can describe. Like on the store. Uh, so it's beside your name. And in between oh, yeah, your see, name and point, the bell. Sign up now. So if I haven't signed up, that means everything that I did before it doesn't yeah, you count. Fuck you. Yeah, you get fucked. You don't get anything for all So I start from now? You start from now, I think, yeah. Oh, my so God. So I'm a level four on PlayStation Stairs, and I've got 524 points. So your PlayStation Plus monthly game away. PlayStation Stairs. I need, to check. I need to look into this. I don't know where to look for it. Harry Potter. Yeah. So <laughs> hopefully this answers your question, Donnie. Um, yeah, I'm totally clueless about it. That's my answer. I don't know. Some jackpot. I'm not, I'm not even part of it. I was though, Donnie, and I think it's disgusting that they're <laughs> doing this. This is like a, but they're taking it away, or so not making it useful as much anymore. Yeah, it's like just making it harder to gain, and it's already like slow to get like a twenty euro rewards reward or whatever. Okay, there we go. I'm uh, I'm level. I'm level three and I have five thousand and ninety-five points. Oh, shit, you! I think you can trade that in for twenty euro or twenty. Well, damn, how, two million you Canadian dollars. How do you have that, Muzz? How do you have points? I don't know. Do I just, that? I just, just I activated that at some point. Yeah, damn, and I just never, I never paid that. attention to it. Plus, they put a, they've put a fucking timer on it now, where those will expire after twelve months. So you got to spend them or you lose them. Okay, so, so they another, wouldn't have another it, scummy move they've done, like you know. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, they didn't expire at, at any point yet. Like but they didn't so, yeah, do that's, that. That's because it's only a recent edition. So with like, right. Okay. I'm, I'm imagining. Well, you know, this that's kind of cool that they kind of like you know. I'll have to see what it's I cool, can... but they're making it less cool with these changes. You know. I know, but yeah. but dude, like you can't. I understand, but you can't. You can't bitch about what type of free shit you get. Wrong. Like I understand. No, wow. yeah, I understand. <laughs> if, no, yeah, because you're getting free shit it's, for just playing the games and buying the games. Like I understand there's a reward system, and yeah. I don't, and I think they're fucking bitches because they're they're you know people are. That's the whole point. You want to encourage people to buy money to spend points and fucking don't punish them from doing what you ask them to do. But I still feel like to a point, like you know, we're getting free shit. You know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I think Sony just miscalculated on how fast people are, are going to earn these points and how much money they're going to be able to like save off of stuff. Bad. You know, it's going to look bad. How many Donnies out cut, there? You know? Yeah. So it's their own fault that their optics or whatever looks bad now. Hmm. I agree. Well, I better use my uh, five thousand points. Maybe I'll. Okay. I would I would use it on Aces of Thunder, but I don't even think I can pre-order it yet because it doesn't have a price on the uh, the store yet. You can't pre-order. Uh, well, I think they need dates before you can spend money. That could be wrong, but they need to have a release date before you can actually. Wouldn't they have to have like an actual price to like know how much you're putting down on the game to pre-order it? But they won't put it like I'm saying. Yeah. Until okay. they can get a date, they will not put the price up. If you know what I mean. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay, I've got 
little time left, so I'm going to fly through the next few. Okay. Uh, Jeremiah says, what games do we know slash think will get the pro treatment after launch? Okay, this is a bit of an outdated question. Um, we kind of covered that already. Uh, what games yeah. are out there that look like shit but are fun and in need of a pro patch? That's a good question. PSVR 2 games oh, that vert are... Uh, Vertigo 2. Apparently that does work better now without the patch. Yeah. Just by itself. It's more I, I, have, I have that game and I still haven't played it yet, but I'm not going to be buying a PS5 Pro for it. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I heard it doesn't stutter as much. Like when there's a lot of stuff going on, it used to like chug, but now it just runs smooth with this. That's good. Um, Jackpot, can you think but, um, of any game that like runs shit but that needs a like a Phasma. patch? <laughs> Phasma. Phasma yeah, yeah. Phasma would be good with a pro patch. Phasma they could, they could, they could need, they need, they need some help with that yeah. game running. Yeah. All right, next question from Bad Robo says, why do you call the graphics you see on Quest 3 amazing and make a positive video about this? And the same graphics are trash when you put on PSVR 2 and make a negative video about this. When the only difference between the headsets is generally only the cable. And he's not talking about me specifically. as he <laughs> sure. He's talking about other YouTubers who are like more uh, Quest aligned, I guess. Yes. Just talking about you. Uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm always sucking off the Quest, haven't I? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Does the quest get like more of a break because it's like mobile standalone VR, so there are more, people are more lenient on the way it looks? Do you think? So you're saying that they're so basically saying reviewers are not so harsh on like when they're reviewing games on Quest, and then when they review games on PSVR two, they're like, oh, it doesn't look very good. It's, I think so. He didn't say the word. Well, review. How the fuck are yeah, they supposed so to look good if they have to run on the Quest? You can't. That's what, get, that's what I'm saying. But then, well, according, a, he, according to him, uh, he reckons you know. They they praise us on Quest where they shit on us on PSVR two. Maybe yeah. bias. Maybe they get their like made up ambassadors like real, not like me, like fake ones, like real legit ones. They're yeah. signed up for it, so they're like for some reason they have to like pump up a little bit more of the questicle. I don't fucking know. I I in my opinion, a lot, not all of them, but a good chunk of the VR and the VR the the YouTubers and stuff like that. They're very biased. And I don't mean bias because they like something. I mean bias because they got some type of, you know, they want the free goodies and they want the, the fucking hoodie and they want the beanie with the name of the game and all that fucking. They want to get flown, flown to the fucking, you know, developers' houses to suck their dicks and talk good about the game and whatever not. So Listen, this could be controversial, know. but all I want to say is that those lads who got the preview <laughs> on the Starship Troopers, they got to meet the guy, the actor who plays Rico in the thing. Like that's all I'm well, going to say. I'm not, that's I all mean, I'm going to say. I will be biased. I, I will, if I was I in their position, biased. I would feel awkward talking shit about that game. Thinking yeah. that he might look at that after, you know, because he'd be like, oh shit. I don't yeah. know. But it's not, it's not fucking know. Chuck Norris, you know, we're talking about. We're talking about. <laughs> he's still pretty big. You know, he's got a big following. Um, yeah, but it's not Chuck Norris or fucking, what's his name? The German, the guy, the. Dolph Lutton. became very popular in Germany. No, fucking. David, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> I know how you said that, and I'm mad. I was like, "Is he popular in Germany?" I was like, "Yeah, he was fucking the shit in Germany." He was, he was a king in Germany. Oh God, he still is. Uh, anyway, that's all the fax machines done. I gotta wrap it up because I gotta. That's it. I gotta get to work. Go to work. Go to the done for the pre-recorded session. Yeah, I'll edit this when I get home. That's uh, it. I don't know when it's gonna be ready exactly, but edit it down minutes. to like 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to cut out all cut the everything. most parts and all the jackpot parts and just have me right. for 15 minutes. Put the, minutes girls, put the girls instead. All right. yeah. uh, thank you very mm. much, Jeff. Have fun at work. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. I'll try. Spread your diseases everywhere. Okay, Bye. thanks. Goodbye.